right so let's continue with our discussion of the chapter number 1 in the chapter number 1 we've just completed our discussion on two points over there which is regarding the importance of auditing wherein we said it's a gift to the shareholders and to the investors and then after that also what are the benefits of an audit that it gives you the high quality information it's a moral check on the employees auditor will also review the operations the control so he'll come to know about the deficiencies the weaknesses in internal control and then you also add the point regarding the gift to shareholders and the investors okay right so now next discussion which is there in our books it is regarding the origin of auditing right so the point number 3 that we have for our discussion over there is regarding the origin of the auditing okay from where did this concept of auditing evolve right and here they talk about the ancient times right first they talk about the ancient times then after that the medieval times and then after the medieval times they also talk about the recent times right also the recent times right so the origin of the auditing right so it said ye concept kahan shuru hua but from where Where all did this concept of auditing start? Right, so it says the first reference of auditing. You know, basically, audit is what maker checker concept. You know, okay, if management is preparing the financial statement, some independent third person should do the checking. Like you write your paper. Are you allowed to check your paper? You say, ma'am, cash is a hota, hai na? So then I would have given one twenty out of hundred. Why miss on the opportunity? But you are writing your paper, but somebody else is. checking your paper so now management is doing the accounting now obviously somebody has to check the accounting being done by the management right so that is where we talk about the maker checker concept so it says in the ancient times in ancient so it goes right back to the kautilya arthashastra arthashastra is your economic finance right so arthashastra even in the 4th century bc now you know we have to do three types of our preparation for the exam right so one we have to understand the entire theory wherein you could see a question in your exams regarding the origin of auditing you know right so if this question i'm just giving an example let me not write here because i'm keep kept this page for the summary okay so like one type of question which can come in your exam for 5 marks or for the uh, four, uh, four marks which we saw okay briefly discuss regarding the origin of auditing to aise type ke question ko hum log kya bol sakte wholesale question and now why wholesale because unhone pura topic hi pooch liya hai regarding the origin of auditing so then i have to write regarding the ancient times the medieval times and the recent times okay another way of they asking the question is like in the medieval times how was how has the concept of auditing evolved in the what do you say in the medieval times so now it is not a wholesale question but it is a retail question and now they are asking you one particular tukda one particular part of the question and now they are not asking you the whole thing and coincidentally it is rhyming what is rhyming okay when the question is asked in retail you should note the points in detail coincidentally it is rhyming and okay whenever the question is asked in retail you have to know the points in detail and third one institute makes an mcq okay in the ancient times the first reference of auditing has been found in the kautilya arthashastra in the 4th century bc 5th century bc 6th century bc 3rd century bc and no? so that is where they ask you the mcq the multiple choice question ab kya hai tumhare life mein koi complication tha hi nahi you already knew very clearly it is 4th century bc but after looking at 5 6 and 3 confusion starts like you know you go to buy a t-shirt and they show you yellow color t-shirt you like it you say good i'm buying this fir wo bolte isme char color hai yellow bhi hai red bhi hai blue bhi hai green bhi hai then the confusion starts actually blue bhi acha lag raha hai actually mere paas green bhi nahi hai actually aaj kal red kafi in hai bechare yellow to gaya side mein you know all of a sudden so that is where the confusion starts when you only say fourth century there is no confusion in your mind but the moment you start saying ah oh, do i think i remember nahi yaar shayad wo fifth likha tha fourth nahi tha nahi nahi i think it was sixth nahi nahi i think 17th century tha bahut sare students ko to ye option chahiye rehta hai wo a b c d mein se mante hi nahi hai 
they think it's a printing mistake over there okay right so that is where you have to do the micro reading of the subject take them as a you know ye eye dropper hota hai na you know eye dropper mein aise tel dalna hai aise do do boond aankhon mein tel ki dal ke aise like this you have to study the subject of auditing like this you have to like wo bolte hai jo bolte hai na literally ke aankhon mein tel dal ke padhna hai like that you have to study you can't even imagine from which corner of the book like i'll give you one example in ca final in the old syllabus there used to be a chapter on audit committee corporate governance sebi lodr and usme tha ki jo corporate governance ka company ka report hai jo corporate governance ka company ka report hai jo every quarter dena hota hai company ko who should sign that report and that's the question okay or ab who should sign the cg report the corporate governance report ab usme option tha ceo and cfo CEO or CFO, CEO and CEO. CEO is who? Compliance officer, right? The compliance officer of the company, or the option is CEO or CEO, compliance officer of the company. अब ऐसा भयंकर सिचुएशन हो जाता है ना एग्जाम हॉल में वेर एक तो जो जनरल नॉलेज के स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं है ना जो पढ़ के नहीं जाते हैं है ना जनरल नॉलेज उनको पता है भाई एवरीथिंग इन कंपनी सीईओ सीएफओ होता है सीईओ ऐसा कोई होता ही नहीं है ये कुछ भी लिखते हैं एग्जाम इनको तो चार ऑप्शन बनाने होते हैं इसलिए इन्होंने कंप्लाइंस ऑफिसर लाया है ये नॉन टेक्निकल बच्चे रहते हैं तो ये तो सीओ डी को बोलते चलो आउट फिर वो बोलते चलो ए और बी में से सिलेक्ट करना है तो सीईओ एंड सीएफओ या सीईओ और सीएफओ बोलते क्यों किसी का दिल दुखाने का करने दो ना दोनों को साइन तो बोलते चलो आउट है ना एंड दे सिलेक्ट सीईओ एंड सीएफओ नाउ एक्चुअली जो बच्चा थोड़ा पढ़ के जाता है है ना जो ये तो वो बच्चा है जिसने बिल्कुल पढ़ा नहीं है जो जीके के बेसिस पे राइटिंग दी आंसर जनरल नॉलेज पे इसे सीई एन सी एफ ओ जो बच्चा पढ़ के जाता है ही सेज अरे वेगली आई रिमेंबर के कुछ कंप्लायंस ऑफिसर आई हैड रेड ओवर देयर बट स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर समथिंग लाइक कंप्लायंस ऑफिसर तो ही सेज नहीं नहीं दिस ए एन बी कैन नॉट बी देयर इन दोनों में से होगा सी एन डी बट वो बोलते हैं अब मैंने वो तो पढ़ा था कि इट इज चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर कंप्लायंस ऑफिसर अब उन दोनों के बीच में एंड था या और था ये किसने देखा That I did not see. Then again he says, "Why to break anybody's heart? Let both of them sign." So then again he selects C is the option, and the actual answer, जो बच्चा पढ़ के जाता है, उसको पता है कि D है. It is the chief executive officer or the compliance officer of the company. If you technically studied the subject and you went, then you come to know. So this I can't find a better example of giving you the clarity for doing the micro reading of the subject than this. Like one general knowledge, pay what you would have clicked, CEO, CFO. Then little technical knowledge, you say, ma'am, somewhere I have read compliance officer, so let it be chief executive officer. And because logical, eh, na? Let both of them only side. But logic is different. Law is different. Law is not logic. You say, ma'am, why within thirty days? There is no logic. It's law. And a company law says no within thirty days, sixty days, ninety days, one eighty days. Why one lakh, five lakh? It's a law. There is no logic over there. That's how the law is defined. So your law says that it should be chief executive officer or the compliance officer of the listed entity should sign the corporate governance report. Right? So that is why I say that MCQ is a double-edged sword. Okay, it is very scoring on one side. You know, you say that oh, I just put one gola and I get a two marks for the gola. Hey, na, like that I write one and a half page there, I get half mark. You know, I just put one circle, I can get two marks. But thank God, at least there is no negative marking. Nahi to, fir to minus mein aata. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> and thank God there is no negative marking. But with the positive marking, also you have to be like that's what I said. Nah, it's like a knack. You have to develop the confidence in selecting the answers and reaching to the right answer. So either you should know the one correct answer, or you should be confident about the three wrong answers. So if you know, ma'am, I know it is this. Then it doesn't matter what are the other three options given over there. Or you don't know which is the correct one. You should know the three wrong ones. कि ये तो नहीं हो सकता है. तो फिर बच्चा एक. So then that has to be the answer. And so there are different skill sets. So anyways, the point which I am coming. कि every question that we study, every topic, every concept that we study, we have to do a three-dimensional study of that particular topic. 3D. 
हम 3D डी आजकल तो 7D, 8D डी भी होता है थ्री डायमेंशनल स्टडी वॉट इज द थ्री डायमेंशनल स्टडी कि दे कुड आस्क मी अ होलसेल क्वेश्चन देर कुड बी अ रिटेल क्वेश्चन इफ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन रिटेल आई शुड नो द पॉइंट इन डिटेल एंड आई ऑल्सो नीड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दी MCQ, the micro level is the micro reading of the subject which is required for the MCQ part of the paper, right? The micro reading of the subject, right? The microscopic reading of the subject, putting two two drops of the oil in your eyes and then doing the reading of the subject. So everything, like अभी तुम बोलोगे, ma'am, ये थोड़ी question आएगा. So actually, even I don't know what is going to come in the exam. it's just a matter of you know you working on the theory of probability okay what is going to come and what is not going to come but has it you know is can they ask a question even regarding the 4th century bc yeah you know can they ask a question mentioning the four arthashastra ka a b c d over there yes like you know whenever i talk about mcq it always reminds me of that contestant who is you know on the hot seat for kbc है ना वो कौन बनेगा करोड़पति है ना उसमें देखो जैसे अभी तरह फाइव थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज का क्वेश्चन दैट कंटेस्टेंट विल टेक द रेस्ट सम ऑफ दम सो डफर इवन फॉर दैट दे विल यूज द लाइफ लाइन यू अंडरस्टैंड इवन फॉर दैट दे विल टेक द लाइफ लाइन और समथिंग एंड देन आफ्टर दैट यू नो वेन द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक फॉर दी फिफ्टी लैक और वन क्रोर और समथिंग एंड देन दे नो दे इज अ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग क्रिकेट और हु वन द ओलंपिक मेडल एंड विच वॉट यू आई डोंट नो फ्रॉम वेर दे गेट द क्वेश्चन देन सम पॉलिटिकल सम रामायण महाभारत वॉट हैपन एंड सम कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्वेश्चन ओवर देर है ना ऐसे पॉलिटिक्स या रिलीजन या स्पोर्ट्स है ना दीज आर द मेन वराइटीज ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच आर ओवर देर ओके नाउ वेन दी कंटेस्टेंट डजेंट नो दी आंसर ऑन इज ओन ही गोज फॉर अ lifeline and one of the lifeline he has is i think phone a friend you know where and now i don't know whether it is there but aisa kuch pehle to i don't know some 18 19 season is going on but yeah some phone a friend lifeline is there then after that three friends ka option is given over there then out of that keep in amita bachan asked them ke which friend would you like to call out of this to bole oh this particular say the question is regarding cricket so he says oh this particular person you know he knows a lot about cricket and then he will call that person over there it to answer that particular question okay so the point i am telling is or sometimes the contestant he is confident on his own in giving the answer he says nahi nahi mujhe pata hai ki us waqt you know indira gandhi prime minister the us waqt wo aisa hua tha wo us waqt wo policy pass hua tha tab india ka aise kyunki amita bachan asked no ki are you confident about the answer ki kyu aapko lagta hai ki ye answer hoga so then दे गिव सम मेमोरी ना मुझे ऐसा याद आता है कि मैंने कभी ऐसा पढ़ा है तो ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि दैट कंटेस्टेंट टुडे ही इज कम टू प्ले द केबीसी एंड प्रीवियस डे ही हैज रेड ऑल ऑफ दिस इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी ना कि जैसे कोई क्रिकेट ओलंपिक्स या रिलीजन का क्वेश्चन आया दे माइट बी डूइंग सम ब्रशिंग ऑफ सब एनसाइक्लोपीडिया समथिंग बट हाउ मच यू रीड वन डे बिफोर बट हाउ दे आर स्टिल एबल टू गिव दी आंसर बिकॉज समवेयर कहाँ पे कहीं तो कुछ तो पड़ा हुआ है और वो फाइल अपने आप उस वक्त खुलती है बट अगर तुमने पढ़ा है तो फाइल खुलेगी ना अगर फाइल ही नहीं है तो क्या खुलेगा यू अंडरस्टैंड नो सो व्हेन यू हैव रेड समथिंग एट दैट टाइम यू माइट थिंक ओके जस्ट अ पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन बट यू नेवर नो इफ दैट क्वेश्चन कम्स इन दी एग्जाम एंड देन यू माइट रिमेम्बर ओ या यू नो इट वॉज द फोर्थ सेंचुरी सो यू नीड टू हैव अ स्टोरी यू नीड टू हैव एन एसोसिएशन वे बाई विच यू कैन रिमेम्बर Right, so that you don't think, oh, how will I remember? You never know. Like I am telling you, like the KBC contestant, somewhere that person has read it, and at that moment it will come to your mind. But when you are reading it, read it with fine attention. Okay, right. So, anyways, first talking about the ancient times, wherein they talk about the Kautilya Artha Shastra of the fourth century before Christ. It says in this Kautilya Artha Shastra they have talked about the concept of the fixed accounting period and the periodical checking. Right, so accounting year that is you know for now we have April to March so fixed accounting period and then the closure of the accounts so you close your books of account for a particular year and then the audit for the same so now we are in the twenty first century they are talking about it in the fourth century and that is where the concept started of the fixed accounting year and then the closure of the accounts and then the audit concepts of periodical checking है ना periodical checking quarterly what are the four quarters in a year जून सेप्टेम्बर डिसम्बर मार्च है ना फर्स्ट क्वार्टर अप्रैल मे जून है ना थर्टीएथ अप्रैल राइट देन मे जून जुलाई सो थर्टी फर्स्ट जुलाई देन आफ्टर दैट ऑगस्ट सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर राइट सो दैट इज दक्टोबर क्वार्टर एंड देन आफ्टर ये सॉरी द सेप्टेम्बर एंड देन दी अक्टोबर नवंबर डिसम्बर एंड देन दी मार्च राइट सो यू हैव दी जून क्वार्टर देन आफ्टर दैट दी 
September quarter, December quarter and the March, right? So, year end, right? So, what does it say? Periodical checking and verification existed even in those times. Even there are references in this monumental work to misstatements and financial statements due to abuse of power. What is abuse of power? Misuse of authority. And a misuse of authority, like, you know, purchase manager has the power to authorize the purchases in the company. What is purchase manager doing? He himself is doing personal purchases in the company name. So, the person to whom the power has been given himself is abusing, misusing the power given to him. That is one limitation of internal control. Tumne kya kiya ke power de diya. Ab kya ho gaya? Jisko power diya, wohi wo power ko misuse kar raha hai. Ye kya ho jata hai? Ye limitation hai internal control ka. What is this? This is a limitation of the internal control system, right? So, abuse of authority, abuse of power, misuse of power. Right? So, it was right mentioned in the ancient times. Then after that, it comes to the medieval time. Right? Medieval time where it says in the Greek and Latin government departments, this concept of auditing started, right? So, in the medieval time. Right? And now here they talk about the origin of the word audit. Okay? From where did this word come audit? Right? Generally what they say, what is the full form of audit? All you do is tick. A-U-D-I-T. Did you see that? All you do is tick. All you do is tick, 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 tick. That is audit. All you do is tick. And all you do is tick. And then generally you would have seen that this auditor ticking, like you know, these are the figures, 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, 4,000. See, it puts ulta tick. Have you noticed that? And the tick is like this. And the tick never goes like this. And the tick of the CA is never like 1,000 and he will put the tick like this. No, the tick is always given in the upward manner that you come to know rather our CA logo also how it is the word CA written in the blue color and now in that also you have the tricolor tick right you have the tricolor tick and then after that you also have the India written over there right you also have the India written over there right so that's the revised logo of the IC uh, the CA logo no earlier it was only the green color tick but now to resemble India right they've also put the tricolor tick inside it right so it is the ca right so that is the logo of the ca wherein earlier it was only the green color tick but now they have made it into the tricolor tick and also the india written below it and it's to resemble the you know the 75th year and all of that right the new ca india logo they've introduced that right and that's the icai logo okay right so anyways right what we are talking about over here because ca is always using that Reverse tick. Can anybody tell me ke why he is using the reverse tick? Ha, exactly. So that you know, some say ke style hai, ma'am. And okay, so that you know, just a different way. No, but if you write or put a tick on the number, the number gets affected. Right? So because so that the number, the scene of the number is not disturbed. You know, the visualization of the number. That is why the CA puts the tick above the number. And so that tick be ho jai or number be clear dikhe. So that's the simple reason why CA puts these parrots and green color ticks. You know, all in the CA working paper, parrots are flying. And a green color ticks are flying in the paper. And a green color pen. And so that is where you have all you do is tick. Okay. But you might have heard the word. No, we always say audio, video. Audio video. Audio is what? And it's an audio CD. So what is that? All Spotify, audio podcast, where you are only able to hear, where you are only able to listen. And then video, obviously, what you are able to hear, listen and also see. Okay. So in the Greek and Latin government department, in the medieval time, in the Greek and Latin government department, the employees used to do the accounting. Greek and Latin ke government department mein kya hota tha? The employees used to do the accounting. Then an independent person used to come. An independent person used to come. And these employees who have done the accounting, they used to tell this independent person all the accounting that they have done. So you are all working in the Greek and Latin department. You have done all the accounting. Then an independent auditor comes. Now you start telling him all the accounting that you have done. And now this independent person is listening 
to you and after listening to you he says ha ha tumne barabar kiya hai that is where the origin of audit started aisa originally audit aise hota tha ki acha tumne accounting kiya mujhe batao kaise kiya main sunti hu tumne theek se kiya hai kya ab today i can't go to reliance and say ki tum mujhe batao main sunti hu you understand no today that is not practical today the way i do the audit has undergone a change but why i do an audit that still continues to be the same and today i can't go to reliance and tell them that you tell me what you have done i will listen to you today i'll have to do the checking today i'll have to make use of audit software for doing my audit so how i do an audit has undergone a change but why i do an audit is the same right so that is where they say in the medieval time the word audit has been derived from the latin word audere which means to hear to listen so the word audit hai na has been derived from the latin word audere audere means suno hai na to listen to hear to listen the latin word audere which means to listen so auditor used to your the accounts read out to them so that's what i told you you have done the accounting you tell me how you have done the accounting i listen to you and after listening i tell ha theek hai ya not theek hai you understand that so your the accounts and check that whether the employees were not careless and negligent so that was in the medieval times and then industrial revolution in europe right so then lot of economy e-commerce what do you say commerce started happening led to astronomical expansion and so not what you say arithmetical progression geometric progression astronomical expansion in the volume of trade and consequently the demand of the auditors so that happened in the medieval times what are we talking about everyone origin of auditing so started in the kautilya arthashastra in the 4th century bc wherein they talked about talked about the concept of the is the fixed accounting year then the closure of the accounts also and also the periodic verification by the auditor then after that medieval time the word audit has been derived from the latin word audere which means to hear right so a person used to come and hear out the accounts right listen to the accounts so see yahan pe they have not used the word audit yahan pe kya bola hai concept of periodical checking तो तभी वो वर्ड ऑडिट नहीं आया था इन द एंशंट टाइम्स देन इन द मिडीवल टाइम्स द वर्ड ऑडिट केम इन टू एक्सिस्टेंस ड्यूरिंग द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन एंड सो एंड देन आफ्टर टाइम दैट वी कम टू द रीसेंट टाइम्स अब रीसेंट टाइम्स इज आल्सो 1860 18th सेंचुरी है ना रीसेंट टाइम्स इज आल्सो क्वाइट ओल्ड है ना सो नाउ इफ यू कम टू द सीएनएजी वेबसाइट ओके सो इफ आई कम टू सीएज जी ओ वी डॉट इन वॉट इज सी ए वी सी ए जी कॉम्ट्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया है ना कॉम्ट्रोलर नॉट कंट्रोलर है ना यू हैव दिस दॉम्ट्रोलर एंड द ऑडिटर यू विल बी टेकन टू द इंग्लिश वर्जन ऑफ द वेबसाइट या राइट सो यू हैव दॉम्ट्रोलर एंड द ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ द इंडिया राइट सो यू हैव द फॉर्मर सी एन ए जी इसके हु हैव बीन द सी एन ए जी ऑफ इंडिया सो फार राइट सो सी टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन टू ट्वेंटी इट वॉज राजीव महर्षि देन शशिकांत शर्मा देन विनोद राय दैट इज द टाइम वेन द टू जी स्कैम है ना वॉज फाउंड आउट इन टू थाउजेंड 813 and then before that all the black and white photos over there and then if you look over here it says honor is uh, what is a edmund drummond 1860 right and that is exactly what is given in our books also in 1860 and so that is where the first cnag was appointed do you see over here 1860 and then after that the atl 1862 and then who is the current cnag of india it is girish chandra murmu right cn this cag of india right so it is shri girish chandra murmu who is the comptroller and auditor general of india right the comptroller so in our chapter number 9 wherein we have the special features of the audit of the different types of entity yeah the I talk to you, chapter number nine, hotel, hospital, club, cinema hall. There we are also going to talk about the government audit. So government audit, we are going to talk about the C and A G, the comptroller and the auditor general of India, right? So wherein you have the comptroller and the auditor general of India, and apart from that, you also have the I C A I, which was created in the year. right 1949 right so you have the institute of the chartered accountants of india right so icai was established as a statutory body under an act of parliament in 1949 right for regulating the profession of chartered accountancy in the country right so 1860 the concept of the government audit started first auditor general of india was appointed by the in the british india in 1860 having the auditing and the 
both the auditing and the accounting function. So we just saw that 1860 CNAG was appointed. Later on, the office of CNAG was given the statutory recognition. The presently, CNAG is responsible for auditing the government receipts and expenditure. This we will study in chapter number. Nine, when we talk about the audit of the different types of the entity, one of the audit that we are going to talk about over there is the government audit. And now ICAI has been established in 1949 for regulating the profession of the chartered accountancy in the country. Right? So then the constitution of India, when was that made? 1950, right? So even before that, the ICAI was already set up. Right, so that was the importance of the auditors and all which was maintained, right? So regulating the profession of the chartered accountancy in the country, right? So that is where you talk about the origin of the auditing, right? Origin of the auditing. So what are the three times they are talking about? AT, MT and the RT, right? So ancient times, medieval times and the recent times, right? So medieval times they are talking about the origin of the word audit from the Latin word Order, which means to year. Then recent times wherein they are talking about the Auditor General of India and also talking about the establishment of the ICAI under this HS as under the Act of the Parliament. Right? Clear to everyone? The next discussion over there, right? Which is regarding the origin of the auditing. Right? So our next discussion over there is regarding the origin of the auditing. Okay. Right. Then after that, now coming to the point number four. Right? So, ancient times, medieval times and the recent times. Now, coming to the next point of our discussion over there, which is regarding the meaning and the nature of the auditing. Right? The meaning and the nature of the auditing. Right? Meaning and the nature of the auditing. Okay? Right? So, finally, now that brings us to the definition of the auditing. Right? So, finally, now this brings us to the definition of the auditing right definition of the auditing right definition of auditing or definition of audit right so audit one we already said that it's all you do is tick. and then we said the word audit has been derived from the latin word order which means to hear to listen and now we come to the definition of audit what does it say audit is an what is audit? Audit is an independent examination. Ye independent pe to ek dem, matlab, they have so much emphasis on the independence of the auditor. And also, audit is a checking. It's a verification. It is an examination. But what type of checking? Independent examination of, of what? Of financial information. Audit is an independent examination of financial information of whose financial information? It says of any entity, of any entity. Everybody, what am I writing over here now? The definition of auditing. What is the definition of audit? Audit is an independent examination of financial information of any entity, any entity means what? Whether profit oriented or not. Whether profit oriented or not. Irrespective of its, irrespective of its size or legal form. Irrespective of its size or legal form and then why are you doing such a verification when such an examination when such an examination independent checking is being conducted why it is being conducted with a view to yes with a view to expressing and with a view to expression of opinion thereon, right? With a view to expression of opinion thereon, right? So, what is audit? It is an independent examination of 
financial information of any entity whether for it profit oriented or not irrespective of its size or legal form and why such an examination is being conducted with a view to express an opinion thereon right with a view of expression of opinion thereon right expression of opinion what you want to do you want to express an opinion right so what is audit independent examination of financial information of any entity whether profit oriented or not or q q kar rahe ho checking so that you can express an opinion there on why so that you can express an opinion there on right once again tell me what is the definition of audit audit is an independent examination swatantra an independent examination kiska of financial information kiska financial information koi bhi entity whether profit oriented or not irrespective of its size or legal form q why such an examination is being conducted it says with a view to expressing an opinion there on right with a view to expressing an opinion there on are you understanding that okay so now i have put four boxes over here independent examination financial information any entity and express an opinion expression of opinion first let us cover any entity any entity could it be a profit making company or a not for profit company yes it could be a section 8 company or it may not be a section 8 company whether it's a non profit making institution or a profit making institution kya dono ka audit ho sakta hai yes irrespective of its size their turnover is 10 lakh their turnover is 1 crore their turnover is 10 crore 100 crore 10 lakh crore can it be any size can it be any size can it be 1 crore to 10 lakh crore yes and legal form can it be a sole proprietor yes can it be a sole proprietor yes can it be an artificial jurisdiction person yes can it be an association of person yes can it be a firm yes can it be an llp yes can it be a company can it be a public company private company listed company unlisted company foreign company irrespective of its legal form doesn't matter whether it's a company whether it's a cooperative society whether it's a multi state cooperative society private for company public company listed company unlisted company doesn't matter any entity did you understand any entity mein kya likha hai whether profit oriented or not irrespective of its size or irrespective of its legal form to ya to wo profit oriented ho sakti hai ya to not profit oriented ya to wo 1 crore ki company ho sakti hai ya to 10 lakh crore 100 crore any size of the company it could be a company it could be a firm it could be an llp it could be a hindu undivided family it could be just any legal form any entity you understand that okay when financial information this i have already discussed with you where is financial information given in the financial statements and have we already done a detailed discussion regarding financial statements balance sheet profit and loss cash flow soc notes books of account you know financial statements financial information means where is financial information there it is there in the financial statements you agree with me now so whether you say financial information financial statements it would mean one and the same that's why maine bola na ki audit means hum log mainly kaun se audit ki baat karte hai statutory audit audit of financial statements definition hi dekho ye statutory audit ka definition hai ye aur kisi audit ka definition nahi hai this is the definition of which audit statutory audit because it says independent examination of financial information of any entity so have we covered financial information yes have we covered any entity yes then we also have the independent examination and you know, independent so now let us have a brief discussion chapter number 11 we'll have a detailed discussion but right now have a brief discussion regarding the independence of the auditor you know independence of the auditor so auditor wo jo managing director financial statements prepare kiye the showing profit of 7000 crore but actually there was a 
loss of 2000 crore so now for those financial statements when auditor is expressing an opinion should he be independent so should he say oh you are my brother oh you know i know you will not get bank loan if you show this loss of 2000 crore so no problem you know so for you i will say that they are okay no so that means what should happen okay when you are doing the checking of the financial statements and you find out that there is some प्रॉब्लम कुछ तो गड़बड़ है कुछ तो गलत है इन फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स पे बिना झिझक बिना किसी से डरे बिना किसी के दबाव में आके क्या सीए को अपना इंडिपेंडेंट ओपिनियन एक्सप्रेस करना चाहिए you understand now see this independence you can do in opinion expression of opinion you can do it in your professional life है ना कि यू शुड नॉट कम अंडर द प्रेशर ऑफ एनी बडी यू से ये गलत है तो गलत है इसमें प्रॉब्लम है तो है बट आप किसी के घर पे खाना खाने गए हो और उन्होंने खाना बनाया है और अभी खाना तो कुछ अलग ही बना है पर आपको पूछ रहे बेटा कैसे लगा खाना तो वहां पे आप बोलोगे इंडिपेंडेंट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कम अंडर द प्रेशर ऑफ एनी बडी आई एम गोइंग टू गिव माई इंडिपेंडेंट ओपिनियन नो आंटी क्या खाना बनाया आंटी आंटी वाओ ऐसे एकदम चने के झाड़ पे बिठा के है ना एकदम वैसे तारीफ करके बट ऐसे या कंपनी के फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बिल्कुल अच्छे नहीं मैनेजमेंट क्या फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बनाए लाजवाब नहीं खाने के लिए ठीक है भाई फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स में ऐसा नहीं करना है है ना खाने के लिए ओपिनियन में बायस है इंडिपेंडेंस नहीं है तुम्हें लगेगा इतना दिल से बनाया है उनको बुरा लगेगा अभी तुम बोलोगे मैम मैनेजमेंट को भी तो बुरा लगेगा लगने तो बुरा उन्हें बुरा नहीं लगा तो नाफरा आके तुम्हें बुरा लगाएगी यू अंडरस्टैंड नो एन एफ आर ए आई शोड यू ना टूडे नेशनल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग अथॉरिटी आई शोड यू आई सी ए डिसिप्लिनरी मैकेनिज्म बोले तुमको सबका दिल ही संभालना है ना बैठे रहो प्रैक्टिस मत करो दिल संभालते रहो है ना यू आर डी पार्ट फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टेन ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स संभालो दिल जितने दिल संभाल ले दिल संभाल के रखना यू अंडरस्टैंड सो इट इज नो है ना कि जब सीए आप आपका ओपिनियन एक्सप्रेस करते हो आपको किसी के दबाव में सीए व्हेन यू आर एक्सप्रेसिंग योर ओपिनियन यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू कम अंडर दी वर्ड्स यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू कम अंडर दी प्रेशर ऑफ समबडी एल्स वाइल एक्सप्रेसिंग योर ओपिनियन दैट मींस इंडिपेंडेंस इंप्लाइज दैट द जजमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन आर यू लिस्निंग टू मी इंडिपेंडेंस इंप्लाइज दैट द जजमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट सबॉर्डिनेट इज नॉट सबॉर्डिनेट किसी के दबाव में आके नो इज नॉट सबॉर्डिनेट टू दी विशेष और डायरेक्शन ऑफ अनदर पर्सन है ना विशेष और डायरेक्शन ऑफ अनदर पर्सन हु माइट हैव Engaged him, yes. Keep writing. Who might have engaged him, or for his own self-interest, or for his own self-interest. इंडिपेंडेंस मीन्स दैट द जजमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन जो आपका ओपिनियन है दैट शुड नॉट बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ somebody else telling you or you know just trying to, that is why you are not expressing an objective opinion but a subjective opinion not a subordinate your judgment is not a subordinate to the wishes or directions of another person wishes ke management ki kya wish hogi ca please don't report na ca please no don't tell anybody that we did fraud of 500 crore please ca or direction they are telling you ca if you report our fraud next year we will not appoint you है ना सर डायरेक्शन ऑफ अनदर पर्सन और है ना हु माइट हैव एंगेज्ड हिम और फॉर हिज ओन सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट अब सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट क्या होता है कि सीए के पूरे फॉर्म की रिसीट्स कितनी है से टेन करोर है ना जो आप सीए की प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो आपके टोटल फॉर्म की रिसीट्स कितनी आती है टेन करोर आउट ऑफ दैट एट करोर आपको ये एक क्लाइंट से आती है है ना टेन करोर इज द टोटल रिसीट ऑफ योर सी फॉर्म जो आपकी सीए की प्रैक्टिस है टोटल सारे क्लाइंट का मिला के कितना पैसा आता है आपको टेन करोड़ और ये एक क्लाइंट से कितना आता है एट करोड़ और तुम्हें पता है कि ये एक क्लाइंट को अगर मैंने नाराज कर दिया तो नेक्स्ट ईयर दे विल नॉट अपॉइंट मी एंड देन माय रेवेन्यू विल कम डाउन फ्रॉम टेन करोड़ टू टू करोड़ सो इन माय सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट 
you say oh i like to come to this auntie's place if i tell the food is not good next time she'll not call me so you that's why auntie bahut acha khana banaya auntie bahut mast banaya aise bahut acha hai na like that hai na so own self interest ya tumhe mummy ne bol ke bheja hai kaise bhi khana bana acha bana hai bol ke aana ha wishes or directions of another person tumhe already sikha ke bheja hua hai i hope it's clear to you है ना इंडिपेंडेंस इंप्लाइज दट द जजमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन के वॉट एवर इज यू चेक ना फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट यू टेल मी योर जजमेंट यू से नो नो मैम मैनेजमेंट विशेज आई शुड से दिस ओ मैम इफ आई टेल दिस आई विल लूज दिस ऑडिट नो डोंट गो एज फॉर द विशेज ऑफ डायरेक्शन और अनदर पर्सन डोंट थिंक अबाउट योर सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो and self interest we know you say ma'am if i give this opinion saying that the financial statements are fraud there is error they i will lose this audit next year i won't be appointed no problem you say ma'am my receipts will come down from 10 crore to 2 crore no problem you understand but it says you have to give an independent opinion does everybody understand this sentence you have to learn this sentence everyone independence implies that the जजमेंट जजमेंट समझता है ओपिनियन एक्सप्रेसिंग एन ओपिनियन इज अ जजमेंट कि जो आपका जजमेंट है कि ये फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ठीक है या नहीं है ये जजमेंट है ना आपका आपने चेक किया फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स अब आपको बोलना है ये ठीक है या नहीं है सो जजमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट सबॉर्डिनेट एन ओ टी नॉट सबॉर्डिनेट सबॉर्डिनेट मतलब coming under the words of other you are not expressing your own opinion you are under the pressure you are under the words of others should you be under the pressure under the words of others no not the subordinate kya bola hai not the subordinate to the wish kiske subordinate wishes or directions of another person who might have engaged you or kisi ne aapko kuch nahi bola for your own self interest for your own self interest you are subordinating Can you say oh i will lose this audit i don't want to lose this audit that is why i'll just say that everything is okay does everybody understand that right independent examination okay so have i covered three terms independent examination financial information any entity and when such an examination is conducted with a view to expressing an opinion there on okay right so now you have to express an opinion hai na you have to express an opinion okay right so now when you have to express an opinion like example i again let's take the example of food i tasted the food hai na i took the food in the spoon i tasted it now i have to express now i have to express independent opinion hai na abhi bias to nahi chalega i have to express independent opinion to so, bhi opinion express karne ke liye koi shabd ka prayog to karna padega na to express this opinion i will have to make use of some words no so like for food what words i will use yes that the food is delicious that it is tasty it is yummy and something like that you know in case of the food is good these are the words which you will use to express your opinion say you know you see the taj mahal and the first reaction which people have after looking at that marble ka white wonder it's like wah taj that's the first reaction when you look at it it's like like no doubt it is a wonder of the world how at those times 20000 workers and then the marble coming from so many places and wo itna jali ka kaam and everything like it's like you literally happen to say wow and then, and then there is one particular you know a uh, sentence also like whatsapp forward whatsapp is a university in itself okay and many people study from the whatsapp university also right so when they say ke shah jahan ne you know taj mahal ke har khidki ko dekha har darwaze ko dekha har dome ko dekha aur fir bola are mazak mazak mein bahut kharcha ho gaya so yeah <laughs> right so <laughs> right so yes you have to you need certain words to express your opinion hai na you need certain words to express an opinion similarly now you check the financial statements will you say wow financial statements 
no obviously can you say yummy delicious tasty financial statements no so to express an opinion on the financial statements the phrase used by the auditor is true and fair this is the phrase used by the auditor to express an opinion on the financial statements kidhar gaya reliance industries ka audit report i'll anyways bring you to the entire audit report later also but just let us see these words the true and fair in the audit report yeah over here hai na independent auditors report are you all with me to the members of reliance industries and what does it say in our opinion and to the best of our information and according to the explanation given to us the aforesaid stand alone financial statements give the information required by the act and give a true and fair view in conformity with the indian accounting standards right Pres prescribed under section 133 and the generally accepted accounting principles in india of the state of affairs means what balance sheet exactly it's profit that means profit and loss statement of pnl oci that is again profit and loss its cash flows that is cash flow statement changes in equity that is soce for the year ended on that date right so give a true and fair view that is the phrase used by the auditor to express an opinion what is the phrase used everyone true and fair okay once upon a time like in that medieval time and recent times jo bhi old times hai once upon a time this phrase used to be true and correct once upon a time this phrase used to be true and correct but now it has been replaced with true and fair okay true and correct mein kaise hota tha na the focus of the auditor was only on the mathematical accuracy of the books of account in true and correct wo time hai na jab auditor ne opinion express karna shuru kiya that time the phrase which auditor used to use for expressing opinion was true and correct today it is replaced with true and fair or there is an alternative phrase present fairly but humne hai na aise 700 ne do options diye hai ya to aap true and fair bolo ya present fairly bolo but very popularly true and fair is only used okay so true and correct that was mathematical accuracy that means what say cost of the asset is 1 lakh rate of depreciation says 40% so what is the depreciation for the year Forty thousand. So that simply, when a plus minus multiplication division, utna hi auditor check karte the. Only the mathematical accuracy. Okay, one lakh into forty percent, forty thousand. Yeah, true and correct. Now today, do I check one lakh into forty percent? Yes, I do check the mathematical accuracy. But today I will also check that the cost of asset is the incidental expenses have they been added to the cost of asset? Whether forty percent, whether this rate of depreciation is as per schedule to estimated useful life or not. पहले आई वुडेंट यूज टू चेक वन लाख कार से आया फोर्टी परसेंट किधर से आया मेरा फोकस सिर्फ मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिविजन एडिशन अट्रैक्शन हाँ, 1 lakh into 40% 40000 true and correct arithmetical accuracy that was true and correct did i bother from where 1 lakh has come no did i bother whether 40% is right nothing only mathematical accuracy so that time ca used to express an opinion on true and correct earlier but now today do i check mathematical accuracy yes but that is one part of my checking that is not the only checking i do today will i also check whether that 1 lakh figure is right yes will i also check whether 40% rate is right yes today i will also check that and after checking all of that then i will express an opinion saying true and fair right so it is the phrase used by the auditor to express an opinion right that is true and fair or present fairly but very popularly what is used is true and fair right so let us just have a look at this content in our book what does it say right the definition of audit audit is an independent examination of financial information of any entity whether profit oriented or 
not irrespective of its size or legal form when such an examination is conducted with a view to expressing an opinion thereon right expressing an opinion thereon are you understanding that right then what does it say independence implies that the judgment of a person is not the subordinate to the wishes or directions of another person who might have engaged him or i told you for his self interest also auditor should be independent of the entity whose financial statements are subject to audit so that he can form an opinion without being affected by any influence i hope you are able to follow the language in the book it's not getting complicated sure you follow without being affected by any body's influence right an independence increases auditor's ability to act objectively without creeping in any biases because obviously if you are not independent if you are not independent that means you will be subjective only when you are independent you are able to be objective and when you are objective that means you are free from any bias if you are not independent that means you are subjective if you are subjective that means you are biased but if you are independent that means you are objective and you are also not biased i hope that's clear okay so can ca audit accounts of a concern where his brother is the sole proprietor no we said no managing director ka bhaiya hai na can he do the audit no he cannot it is due to the fact that there would be no independence in such a case due to the relationship by birth between the ca and the brother he would be subject to the influence from his brother can ca audit the accounts of a company where he holds the share no it says again you cannot even a single equity share and a reliance ka if i hold a single equity share can i do the audit of reliance no it is given under the disqualifications under the companies act 2013 if i have to do the audit of reliance can i hold a single share of reliance no they have 10 partners in my firm can they hold a single share of reliance no my relatives they can hold up to the face value of rupees 1 lakh it's given in company law which is not in our syllabus but these are the disqualifications for company auditor ke jaise the example pwc ko price water of scoopers ko reliance ka audit karna hai ki kya pwc ka koi bhi partner hold a single share of reliance no and relatives up to the face value of rupees 1 lakh exceeding 1 lakh you cannot do the audit right so what does it say again if you are holding any share no it is due to the fact by holding shares of the company his own self interest gets involved because he knows that if company shows more profit i get more dividend and more profits and the share price will increase his own money is invested in the company and he may not be able to form judgment independently on the fs what is fs financial statements clear everyone okay right of any entity whether profit oriented or not so what does it say need not necessarily be a profit oriented entity like in case of business it can be a non profit organization like an ngo or a a charitable trust audit can be undertaken of any organization small medium or large right small medium or large right rather you know now institute i recently attended one audit day seminar you know there was a 30th august is celebrated as audit day right so audit day seminar wherein they said ke abhi jo standards on auditing hai jo 38 standards on auditing hai agar main 10 lakh crore ke company ka audit karu ya main 10 lakh ke company ka audit karu i have to follow the same standards so it does, it's not fair na ke itni choti si company ke liye bhi itna standard aur itni badi company ke liye bhi same standards that is why now icai has issued these standards for the lce less complex entities so i'm very sure once they become applicable they will come in inter syllabus only okay so less complex entity hai na standards on auditing for lce what is lce less complex entity so that is one new initiative taken by icai है ना कि एक नया टाइप निकाला है उन्होंने स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑन ऑडिटिंग के स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑन ऑडिटिंग फॉर द लेस कॉम्प्लेक्स एंटिटीज सो क्योंकि इतना जो ऑडिट का कंप्लायंस करते बड़े एंटिटीज के लिए नॉट फेयर टू कंप्लाई विद ऑल ऑफ दोस फॉर अ स्मॉल एंटिटी आल्सो जैसे यू नो यू हैव एम एस एम ई है ना मीडियम स्मॉल मीडियम मीडियम माइक्रो स्मॉल मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस वैसे यू नीड टू हैव सेपरेट ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑल्सो फॉर देम right so that is where they are talking about the standards on auditing for the lce right the sa for the lce the less complex entity 
right the less complex entities right so exposure draft on the standards on auditing for the less complex entities that is what i told you it's the exposure draft but they are yet to come up with these right for the less complex entities okay right so anyways what does it say small medium or large it can be conducted of any entity irrespective of its legal structure such an entity may be a proprietary concern you have to read with me re partnership firm it may be a llp a private company a public company a society or a trust right a society or a trust and the purpose of audit is to express an opinion on the financial statements understand that preparation and presentation of financial statements of any entity is the responsibility of the management auditor expresses an opinion on the financial statement by means of a written audit report right so what are the contents of the report we'll see all of that in chapter number 8 you know if you try to read all of this on your own it looks like greek and latin and then it looks very complicated but now when you read it it's like ma'am simple you know so that is what we have to do we have to you know uh, uncodify we have to simplify the content of the book okay right so have we covered the definition of auditing everyone right audit is an independent examination of financial information for second part kya hai of any entity whether profit oriented or not irrespective of its size or legal form and the purpose of audit is to express an opinion on the financial statements and what you want to do in doing so hai na ki auditor jab aap ye opinion express karna chahte ho on the financial statements what you want to see that these financial statements should not mislead anybody how they should be did we study about the stakeholders yes so should these financial statements lead the share or stakeholders or should they mislead the stakeholders obviously they should lead the stakeholders they should not be misleading to anybody so as an auditor how will you ensure that these financial statements are not misleading anybody right so as an auditor what you want to check that the financial statements are not misleading anybody and in order to check that the financial statements are not misleading anybody first point that auditor that you need to check i told you one point in the beginning today that these are the financial statements of the company these are the books of account of the company should they match financial statements and book of, books of account of the company should they match yes so the account should be prepared on the basis of the entries in the books of account what does it say the accounts accounts means what financial statement should be prepared with reference to the entries in the books of account तो अकाउंट्स मतलब क्या फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स दी अकाउंट्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स हाउ दे शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड दे शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड विद रेफरेंस टू दी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट में जो एंट्री है उसके बेसिस पे तुम्हारे फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स फाइनेंशियल अकाउंट्स व्हाटएवर यू कॉल इट दे शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड राइट सो व्हाट डस इट से दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड विद रेफरेंस टू दी एंट्रीज इन दी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट देन दिस जो एंट्रीज है तुम्हारे बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट पे हमने क्या बताया था फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट शेड्यूल शेड्यूल ट्रायल बैलेंस ट्रायल बैलेंस लेजर लेजर बुक्स ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री एंड प्राइम एंट्री व्हाट डिड वी से वाउचर सपोर्टिंग सो ये जो एंट्रीज है बुक्स ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री में दिस एंट्री शुड बी सपोर्टेड बाय दी एडिक्वेट डॉक्यूमेंट्स दिस एंट्री शुड बी supported by the adequate documents so entries in the books of account now what does it say they should be supported by the sufficient appropriate evidence so entry should be supported by the evidence so what is sufficient appropriate i will come to it right so one account should be prepared with reference to the entries entry should be supported by the evidence entry says entry should be supported by the evidence then what does it say none of the entries in the book should be omitted in the process of compilation so none of the entries should be omitted that company has 20 creditors only 10 creditors are recorded in the books of account company has 10 purchase entry only 5 purchase entries are recorded in the books of account panch ko uda diya none of the entries should be omitted तो वन जो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स है से दीज आर दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ द कंपनी सो नंबर वन ये फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एंट्रीज इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट की एंट्री शुड बी 
supported by the evidence then none of the entry should be omitted did you understand the three points regarding entry account should be prepared with reference to entry entry should be supported by the evidence and none of the entry should be omitted then ye jo financial statements say they should give a clear and unambiguous unambiguous matlab there should be no doubt no what you say lack of clarity है ना एम्बिगुअस क्या होता है जैसे जेली होती है ना जेली कैन यू क्लियरली सी थ्रू जेली नो दैट्स एन एम्बिगुअस लिक्विड तो जब आप फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स पढ़ते हो शुड दे बी एम्बिगुअस और शुड दे बी अनएम्बिगुअस 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 मींस ट्रांसपेरेंट सिंपल लैंग्वेज में अगर देखना है तो व्हाट डू यू मीन कि जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन दी गई है फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स में इट शुड बी क्लियर एंड transparent that means it should be unambiguous right so information given in the financial statement should be clear and unambiguous right it should be clear and unambiguous next what does it say all the financial statement amount jo bhi balance sheet profit and loss ke amount hai they should be classified described and disclosed they should be classified non current current described and disclosed in conformity with the accounting standards so all the amounts given in the financial statement they should be classified described classified described and disclosed in conformity with the accounting standards in conformity with the accounting standards and last point the statement of accounts that is again financial statement should show a true and fair picture ya to picture bolo ya to view bolo true and fair view of the operational result operational result matlab profit and loss and assets and liabilities matlab balance sheet so statement of account should show a true and fair picture right so statement of accounts should show a true and fair picture or a true and fair view right so what does it say ca you have to ensure that the financial statements of a company should not should not mislead anybody ye aap kaise ensure karoge by checking that ye jo financial statements hai they are prepared on the basis of the entry entry is supported by evidence none of the entry is omitted then all information given in these financial statements is clear and unambiguous all the amounts are classified described and disclosed in conformity with the accounting standards and the statement of account show a true and fair picture of the operational results and of the assets and the liabilities Yes, that financial statement ca abhi itne log bharosa karne wale hai ke ca ne bola hai so obviously these financial statements they should not mislead anybody how can you ensure that they do not mislead anybody one more time please tell me the six points that all the accounts have been drawn with reference to the entries in the books of account entries are supported by the एविडेंस देन नन ऑफ दी एंट्रीज हैव बीन ओमिटेड तो तीन पॉइंट किसके हो गए एंट्री के राइट फिर उसके बाद इंफॉर्मेशन इज क्लियर एंड नो अनएम्बिगुअस नो किचड़ी है ना क्लियर ट्रांसपेरेंट इंफॉर्मेशन देन दिस अमाउंट्स गिवन आर क्लासिफाइड डिस्क्राइब डिस्क्लोज्ड इन कंफॉर्मिटी विद द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स द एएस ओके जब जब एएस को अल्टरनेटिव टर्म हम लोग क्या यूज करते हैं गैप जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल जीएएपी है ना जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल लाइक यू नो ए एस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन इंडियन गैप है ना इंडियन गैप वॉट डू मीन बाय गैप जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल principles policies but generally accepted accounting principles that is indian gap that is accounting standard and last point the statement of account show a true and fair picture or a true and fair view of the operating results and the assets and liabilities operational result kahan se pata chalta hai profit and loss statement of profit and loss and assets and liabilities from the balance sheet clear to everyone word by word are you able to follow what i have discussed on page 1 and 2 right introduction origin of auditing definition of auditing and now coming to the objectives of the audit right now coming to the next heading over there which is regarding the objectives of the audit okay right so we have covered the 
meaning and nature of audit wherein we studied the definition of the auditing and then we said auditor you have to ensure that the financial statements are not misleading anybody and in order to ensure that they are not misleading anybody auditor you need to check for the six points am i right everyone right auditor you need to check for the six points you understand this is the micro summary of the chapter that i am preparing maine bola tha na do page chhod dena hai na at one end we are preparing this summary and we are also having a detailed discussion we are also doing the referencing from notebook to textbook textbook to notebook and question bank to theory right all these references you have to do right so origin of audit meaning and nature of audit now talking about the next heading which is regarding the objective of the audit chapter ka naam kya hai nature objective and scope of audit right now what we have discussed is the nature the definition of auditing now we come to the objective of the audit and now for this objective of audit we have to get introduced to the first title of the standard on auditing sa 200 hai na sa 200 ka thoda part chapter 1 mein hai thoda part chapter 11 mein hai are you listening to me everyone yes sa 200 sa 200 2 0 Zero, zero, zero can also be seen as if I look at it as an alphabet. O, O. If I read it as a number, it is two zero zero. If I read it as an alphabet, it is two O O. Am I right? It is two O O. Why two O O? Why do I read it as two O O? Because what is the title of essay two hundred? What is the title of essay two hundred? Overall objectives. So, oh, 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 overall objectives. To oh, oh, to oh, 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 overall objectives. Kiska? Overall objectives of the independent auditor. Okay. थर्टी स्टैंडर्ड का टाइटल याद करना है ये सिर्फ फर्स्ट है क्या कंपलसरी है यस yes. नहीं याद रहता है तो फिर मैं क्या करूं स्टूडेंट्स मैम शुड आई रिमेंबर ऑल मैम शुड आई गिव द रेफरेंस हंड्रेड एंड थाउजेंड परसेंट यस इसे मैम आई कांट देन राइट फिर फुट एग्जाम फी अगेन राइट एग्जाम फुट एग्जाम फी अगेन अगेन राइट टू देर इज नो अभी तो कुछ लिमिट है ना नंबर ऑफ अटेम टेन ईयर्स ओनली रजिस्ट्रेशन इज वैलिड नो you say ma'am don't talk like this no i am not talking institute will deal with you no problem okay right so over all objectives in the first attempt is golden attempt huh? hai na so please put in your best okay overall objectives whose kiska overall objective of the independent auditor auditor bolta no problem now you tell me overall objective chhod do audit i do it bole bhai idhar aa hai na itna don't get over excited And auditor says, "Okay, hey, you've told me overall objective. I do audit. Tension not. And leave it all to me. It says you come here. Either title khatam nii hota hai. We tell you what are the overall objectives of the independent auditor and auditor. Are you going to do the audit as you wish? No. And the conduct of an audit. कैसे करना है audit? And the conduct of an audit in accordance with." In accordance with the standards on auditing, in accordance with the standards, sa or standards on auditing. This is the title. ये नाम है South Indian name of SA 200. Long name ना? है ना big name. In exams you cannot write as per SA 200 overall objectives. No. Nickname नहीं देना है. and you cannot say that there is some name siddharth and you make it as sid no you can't say sa 200 overall objective no sa 200 overall objectives keep writing with me of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing do you follow what i say everyone 
right do i have to remember the number of the standards yes do i have to remember the title of the standards yes you have to remember okay sa 200 what is the title overall oo overall two os na so 200 overall objectives of the ea who is ea independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with ca who is ca standards on auditing and the standards on auditing so ea ca oo something like that okay right so overall objectives of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing uia ka sa is not ca what you are saying conduct of an audit overall objectives where you are re pay attention overall objectives of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing understood no 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 ca say what you say overall objectives of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing clear everyone one more time sa 200 what is the title overall objectives of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit as i wish not as i wish in accordance with the standards on auditing okay you tell me my objective also i know i can't do the audit as i wish i have to do my audit as per the standards on auditing right so that's the title of sa 200 okay now what is the overall objective of the auditor as per sa 200 right overall objectives of the audit Right, so this question we mark it as twinkle, twinkle, little star, five star. Right, super favorite. There are some topics which we mark them as five star, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, so that means super important concept. Right, so five star, ten star, fifteen star, jitne stars, constellation, galaxy, jo banana hai banao, whatever you want to do. But just understand that it is important. Right, right in such a manner that at least you should understand later on. Okay, right. Oh, and ये सारा note संभाल के रखना सी ये final को ये thirty standards फिर आने वाले हैं. मैं आऊँगी but standards भी आएंगे फिर से. Okay, right. So overall objectives of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing. Okay, that all. That all use करते हो? नहीं करते हो अच्छा <laughs> बोलते मैम थोड़ा एंटी बॉडीज खुद बिल्ड होना चाहिए ऐसे इतना जम फ्री रह के क्या करने का है अरे पर वो कोई कोई लोगों को फोबिया हो गया है ना ओसीडी हो गया है ना आफ्टर कोविड वो हाथ साफ करते रहते हैं है ना मास्क पहनते हैं अभी भी लाइक यू नो फॉर ओन वट एवर डॉक्टर रीजन और वट एवर है ना बट कोविड के टाइम एटलीस्ट डेट ऑल यूज किया था कि तभी भी नहीं किया तभी किया था ओके एटलीस्ट ओके है ना फिर उसके बाद लाइफ बॉय है जहा तंदुरुस्ती है वहां है ना और फिर वो जब छोटा बच्चा जब ऐसे घर में खेलता है है ना वो ऐसे जमीन पे घूमता है तो उसकी मम्मी को बड़ी चिंता होती है कि इसको जर्म्स काट जाएंगे वगैरह तो फिर मम्मी घर पे लाइजॉल डाल के पोछा लगवाती है ना मेड से सच्ची बोलो ना है ना डेटॉल लाइजॉल लाइफ बॉय सुना तो होगा ना यूज नहीं किया है तो है ना तो ये सारे जर्म्स किल करते हैं बैक्टीरिया कितना बैक्टीरिया किल करता है हाँ? 99. कितने भी नाइन लगा दो वो प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट हंड्रेड बोलता है क्या कोई नहीं डू दे से हंड्रेड नो तो सिमिलरली अपना जो ऑडिटर का अश्योरेंस है है ना ऑडिटिंग एंड अश्योरेंस हम कॉन्फिडेंस देते हैं ना टू इंटेंडेड यूजर्स के भरोसा रख दस लाख रेवेन्यू है मैंने चेक किया है क्या हम हंड्रेड परसेंट अश्योरेंस देते हैं नहीं हम लोग डेटॉल अश्योरेंस देते हैं नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन कितने पॉइंट लगाने वो तुम लगा दो नाइन 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 बट क्या हंड्रेड परसेंट है नहीं तो वॉट इज दल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिटर टू ऑप्टेन डेटॉल अश्योरेंस 
don't write that all ray to obtain reasonable assurance reasonable assurance to obtain reasonable i don't know udaipur mein dmart hai kya अच्छा विशाल मार्ट है क्या मेगा मार्ट है अच्छा कुछ तो है ओके बहुत कुछ है ओके राइट <laughs> तो जो भी है मुझे पता नहीं है ज्यादा यहाँ के बारे में मैं 2018 में एज अ टूरिस्ट आई थी मुझे पता नहीं था आई कम एज अ टीचर अगेन ओवर योर ओके राइट बट या uh so then uh, that uh, vishal mart or whichever you know you go to some supermart to purchase your stuff okay so jo bhi parle ji ka biscuit lena hai jo bhi dal chawal hai na jo bhi ghar ki dal wal kharidna hai wo wahan se kharidte hain to aisa to nahi hai wahan free mein dete hain hai na aisa to nahi hai ki they don't they give it for free over there ha kuch offer wagera rahega that part is buy three get one something like that but still you go to buy over there and then you say why they why you always go to that vishal mart and you don't go to the other because you say wahan pe na reasonable price hai hai na because kya bolte hai wahan pe na kam kam bhi nahi hai price bahut zyada bhi nahi hai matlab bahar agar 10 rupaye mein mil raha hai to aisa nahi ki yahan 1 rupaye mein mil raha hai yahan pe 9 rupaye mein mil raha hai but wo reasonable hai na matlab 1 rupaye to bach jata hai you understand so we say na price is reasonable what do we say it's reasonable price and it's not an exorbitant price or something right like you know exorbitant price ka agar mujhe tumhe example dena hai like you know mark zuckerberg obviously you know him okay you know the clothes that he wears and do you say ambani wedding or ambani wedding he got designer clothes for a change like very good designer clothes but apart from that what clothes he wears same he will wear that grey color t-shirt and the blue color jeans if you have seen him most of the times he'll be wearing so you see oh my god such a simple person hai na wearing the simple you know blue denim jeans jo kitna 800 rupees kitna bhi t-shirt subah 400 mein aaya tha to jeans 800 mein okay or those grey color ka basic shirt to 100 rupees se leke 1000 rupees tak kaise mil sakta hai na but there is this particular brand you know brunello susinelli okay ये देखो एंड दैट फेलो मार्क जुकबर्ग ही ओनली वेयर्स द ग्रे शर्ट एंड द ब्लू जीन्स ओनली ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड राइट एंड इफ यू लुक एट दे आर पर्टिकुलर व्हाट यू से दे आर कलेक्शन दे आर ऑनलाइन बूटिक एंड सो राइट यू सी द मेन कोट्स एंड जैकेट्स और दी मेन कलेक्शन बच्चों को भी पहनाते हैं माई गॉड ओके से इतने महंगे वाले कपड़े ओके एंड देन यू सी द मेन सूट्स एंड ऑल ओवर देयर राइट एंड देन यू सी द कलेक्शन ऑफ दियर क्लोथ्स ओके राइट एंड देन इफ यू सी ओ माय गॉड कैन यू सी द ब्लेजर इट्स वॉज सिक्स थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी डॉलर्स which is like if i multiplied by 100 just to keep it simple then 61600 and 616000 right so even the t-shirt that mark zuckerberg is wearing is like for 40 50000 and something like that and so then you say ma'am it looks reasonable but it's not reasonable and it looks like you know wearing very reasonable what a simple lifestyle right so if you will search even for you know brunello susinelli and if you see mark zuckerberg also it will show you that you know that mark zuckerberg wears this particular you know the uh, what you say mark zuckerberg if i put yeah it will come right because uh, his famous green t-shirt is made and it's in the range of 300 to 500 dollars and so that's what i said like 30 to 40000 is the price of the shirt which he is wearing and you know when i had gone to canada i happened to visit this particular store i said let me see so first like you know as an indian when you go into a store you want to see red yellow green blue orange bright colors and designs and prints over there then there was beige color ग्रे कलर क्रीम कलर दैट्स इट पूरी दुकान यहां से वहां नजर घुमा लो बेच ग्रे एंड क्रीम दैट्स द ओनली टू थ्री व्हाइट एंड वेरी पेस्टल शेड्स और नॉट thing not even a single dot or a print on any of the clothes plain solid clothes kept over there and then all in that heavy price range over there so i just clicked the wonderful photograph and moved ahead obviously <laughs> right but, <laughs> but at least it's like okay at least i went to the shop you know where uh, you know where he particular purchases his clothes or so from right so anyways that's not reasonable price and you know? that in any case is not the 
at a reasonable price. But yeah, you go to the Vishal Mart. Yes, do you find the reasonable prices over there? Yes. So to obtain auditor. अब तुम जब audit पे जा रहे हो, the I am discussing twinkle twinkle little star. Pay attention everyone. Auditor, when you go for doing the audit, you have to do what? What is your overall objective? You have to obtain a reasonable assurance how is reasonable assurance defined as it says reasonable assurance are you all with me reasonable assurance is a high level of assurance reasonable assurance is a high level of the assurance but it is not a Absolute assurance. That is what I told you. Debt all assurance. Ninety. ऐसा बोल सकते हैं क्या कि रामदेव बाबा का कोरोनिल खाके कोविड नहीं होगा? Reasonable assurance. High level. But is it absolute? No. Then what is not an absolute assurance? Then is it ninety nine point nine 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 nine? Yeah. Is it hundred? No. What is high level? That is your judgment. It somebody can say eighty is also high, ninety is also high, ninety five, ninety six, ninety eight, nine. Anything less than hundred is high, but it cannot be hundred. What is high? That is your professional judgment. High level of assurance. Like I told you, for me, eighty seven percent was first rank. For you, eighty seven percent would be the last student in the class. But anyways, is it high? Yes. It's a high level of assurance, but not an absolute. So is C A saying true and correct? No, is C A saying true and correct? No, he is saying true and fair. अगर हम true and correct बोलते हैं, तो फिर हम लोग क्या दे रहे हैं? Absolute assurance, hundred percent assurance. पर अब हम क्या बोलते हैं? True and fair. क्या fair दिख रहा है? मतलब what we are giving? Reasonable assurance. So that means what are we giving is a रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस सो टू ऑप्टेन रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस ऑडिटर क्या किस चीज के बारे में किसके रिलेटेड तुम्हें रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस चाहिए सो टू ऑप्टेन रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस दैट दाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद द टर्म फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आर फ्री फ्रॉम मटीरियल मिस स्टेटमेंट वेदर ड्यू टू फ्रॉड और वेदर ड्यू टू Error, whether due to fraud or whether due to error. I am discussing the overall objective. What is part one to obtain reasonable assurance? What that the financial statement, jinka ham audit kar rahe hai, they are free from material misstatement, whether due to fraud or error. Keep writing. If you don't write, things get difficult in audit. Trust me. Right, free from material misstatement, whether due to fraud or error. And so I'll complete the overall objective, but I'm taking it in bits and parts. जैसे अभी हमने क्या discuss किया? Reasonable assurance, which is a high level of assurance, but it is not an absolute assurance. Now let me take the next term. What does it say? Free from material misstatement. Whether due to fraud or error, what is the distinguishing factor between fraud and error? Better word than purpose? Intention. Intention. You know the difference between a fraud and error is only of the intention. Error done intentionally becomes a fraud. Error done. deliberately knowingly intentionally it becomes a fraud that's the only line of distinction between a fraud and an error okay let's try to break this term fmm one of the most important terminology of audit please everybody pay attention jaise cricket terminology this is audit terminology fmm free from material misstatement let's try to pick up the first word misstatement Can anybody tell to me or give me an example, madam? ये तो misstatement हो गया. Can anybody explain or tell me that, ma'am, this is a misstatement? Misstatement, yes. Yeah, two thousand crore loss. You showed it as a seven thousand crore profit. That means what is? What is? You have a two thousand crore. Yes. What is you have shown a 
सेवन थाउजेंड करोर प्रॉफिट वॉट शुड बी वॉट शुड बी यू शुड हैव शोन अ लॉस ऑफ दू थाउजेंड करोर सो वॉट इज सेवन थाउजेंड करोर प्रॉफिट वॉट शुड बी टू थाउजेंड करोर लॉस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट इज एंड वॉट शुड बी इज अ मिसस्टेटमेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट इज एंड वॉट शुड बी इज अ मिसस्टेटमेंट वॉट इज वैल्यूएशन ऑफ इन्वेंट्री आर यू गाइज लिस्निंग टू मी वैल्यूएशन ऑफ इन्वेंट्री डन बाई द क्लाइंट इज टू हंड्रेड क्रोर वॉट शुड बी ऑडिटर ने जाके चेक किया सीए ने जाके चेक किया एज पर ए एस टू एज पर इन डे एस टू सी ए बोलता है गलत है तुम्हारी इन्वेंट्री का वैल्यू कितना है वन एटी करोर मैनेजमेंट ने क्या कैलकुलेट किया इन्वेंट्री का वैल्यू टू हंड्रेड करोड दो सौ करोड सी ए ने जाके चेक किया सी ए बोलता गलत है तुम्हारी इन्वेंट्री का वैल्यू कितना आता है वन एटी करोर इन दोनों के बीच में का जो डिफरेंस है ट्वेंटी करोर वो क्या है मिस स्टेटमेंट वॉट इज इट डिफरेंस बिटवीन जो है और जो होना चाहिए इट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट इज एंड वॉट शुड बी वॉट इज शेड्यूल थ्री डिस्कलोजर नहीं दिया वॉट शुड बी शेड्यूल थ्री का डिस्कलोजर देना चाहिए डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इज अ मिस स्टेटमेंट वॉट इज प्रोविजन रिकॉर्ड नहीं किया क्या होना चाहिए प्रोविजन शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड कॉन्टिजेंट लाइबिलिटी डिस्कलोज नहीं किया कॉन्टिजेंट लाइबिलिटी डिस्कलोज करना चाहिए इन द नोट्स टू अकाउंट वॉट इज कंपनी इज यूजिंग लीफो कैन दे यूज लीफो नो वॉट इट शुड बी फीफो और वेटेड एवरेज डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इज अ मिस स्टेटमेंट वॉट इज अ मिस स्टेटमेंट गलत स्टेटमेंट मिस स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट है जो गलत है मतलब होना कुछ और चाहिए था और है कुछ और what it should be is something else and what it is is something else that is why it is leading to a misstatement it could be intentional it could be unintentional that means it could be a fraud or it could be an error are you following everyone yes, yes you follow what i say okay to misstatement ho gaya ab mujhe batao what is material material अफेक्ट द डिसीजन मेकिंग ऑफ द यूजर्स ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट यू नो जैसे हम लोग बात करते हैं एक हम लोग बात करते हैं अकाउंट फंडामेंटल अकाउंटिंग एजम्पन वॉट आर दंडामेंटल अकाउंटिंग एजम्पन वॉट आर दंडामेंटल अकाउंटिंग एजम्पन ए एस वन एंड ए एस वन डिस्कलोजर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी गोइंग कंसर्न गोइंग कंसर्न कंसिस्टेंसी एंड एक्रूवल है ना एक्रूवल and what are the accounting considerations what are the accounting considerations prudence substance over form right prudence substance over form and materiality ye padha hai kya have you studied this okay right so going concern that the entity will continue its operations for a foreseeable future consistency that accounting policies have been consistently applied and in case if there is a change in accounting policy retrospective effect quantified and disclosed and accrual all income expenses are recorded related to the accounting period and not when the cash is received or expended you know fa right you follow what i say okay right then accounting consideration to ab ye jab accounting policy select karti hai management to ek inhone kya karna chahiye prudence that means all anticipated losses and expenses should be provided for and all anticipated gains and income should be ignored and a conservative basis that is prudence then substance over form as a classic example diya jata hai ki pen drive mein software hai so will you record it as a stationery or will you record it as an intangible asset obviously you'll record it as an intangible asset because don't go into the form you say ma'am it's a pen drive but agar pen drive mein 2 crore ka software hai so you will re not record it as stationery but you will record it as an intangible asset that is the concept of the substance over form and materiality and you know, what is materiality any item or information which might influence the decision making of the users and you know, influence the decision making of the users do you know the users Stakeholders. Ah, jo gyara ka list banana tha. Those were all the 
stakeholders which might influence the decision making of the users of the financial statements okay right now in our auditing standards ye to kahan baat hui as1 ye kiski baat hui as1 ya to ind as1 now in our sa what is sa in our auditing standards we have an sa sa320 which we will study later in which we talk about the title kya hai 320 ka materiality in planning and performing an audit right materiality in planning and performing an audit hai na materiality in planning and परफॉर्मिंग एंड ऑडिट इट सीज ऑडिटर आप अभी जैसे रिलायंस का तुम ऑडिट कर रहे हो जिनका रेवेन्यू टेन लाख करोर है वहां पर अगर आपको टू करोर का एरर मिला तो विल यू लाइक यू नो ब्रेक योर हेड फॉर दैट टू करोर एरर और विल यू इग्नोर इट इग्नोर यू नो रिलायंस यू फाइंड आउट एरर ऑफ वन हंड्रेड करोर टू हंड्रेड करोर नो बडी इवन लुक्स एट यू ये क्या छोटी छोटी बातें लेके आयो जैसे कोई बड़ा लेके आओ ना बीस हजार करोड़ दस हजार करोड़ तो हम देखेंगे ये सौ करोड़ एक करोड़ एक दो रुपए का तो हंसेंगे ना अगर तुम कुछ लेके आए वहां पे वाई बिकॉज इट्स नॉट मटीरियल हाँ बट एक कंपनी है जिसका रेवेन्यू टेन लाख है सो देर कैन टेन थाउजेंड ऑल्सो बी मटीरियल यस सो मटीरियालिटी इज ऑब्वियसली वेरी सब्जेक्टिव यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन फॉर ईच ऑडिट है ना हाउ टू डिटरमाइन मटीरियालिटी दैट वी शेल स्टडी इन एस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी बट नाउ एज एन ऑडिटर वॉट आई हैव टू चेक दैट दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आर फ्री फ्रॉम मटीरियल मोटा मोटा बड़ा बड़ा मिस स्टेटमेंट है ना फ्री फ्रॉम material misstatement so now what is material misstatement it is material difference between what is and what should be so what is material misstatement it means material difference between what is and what should be what is misstatement what is difference between what is and what should be what is material misstatement material difference between what is and what should be jaise maine inventory ka example liya kitna valuation of inventory hai 200 करोड़ कितना होना चाहिए था 180 करोड़ कितना डिफरेंस है 20 करोड़ ओके से मटीरियालिटी 10 करोड़ है एग्जाम्पल मटीरियालिटी एम टी मतलब क्या एम टी मतलब क्या मटीरियालिटी से मटीरियालिटी 10 करोड़ है तो क्या 20 करोड़ मटीरियल है ये बट से एग्जाम्पल मटीरियालिटी 50 करोड़ है तो फिर क्या 20 करोड़ मटीरियल है नहीं तुम बोल छोड़ दो So it depends materiality कितना है कैसे materiality determine करना है वो हम 320 ट्वेंटी में पढ़ेंगे बट जैसे अगर डिफरेंस कितना आ रहा है मिस स्टेटमेंट कितना आ रहा है ट्वेंटी करोर अगर मटीरियालिटी टेन करोर है तो देन ट्वेंटी करोर इज देन ट्वेंटी करोर इज मटीरियल मिस स्टेटमेंट इफ मटीरियालिटी इज फिफ्टी करोर द मिस स्टेटमेंट दिस इज नॉट मटीरियल यू फॉलो एवरी वन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड माई लाइफ विल बिकम डिफिकल्ट I can't further तो फिर और नहीं समझेगा So please at each point you try to ensure that you have understood. And you have to make an effort to टू अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव टू पार्टिसिपेट एंड यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन इन द क्लास यू आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग समथिंग वेरी सिंपल टू ऑल ऑफ यू मिस स्टेटमेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट इज एंड वॉट शुड बी मटीरियल मिस स्टेटमेंट मटीरियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट इज एंड वॉट शुड बी अभी थर्ड वहां पर क्या लिखा है फ्री फ्रॉम मटीरियल मिस स्टेटमेंट मीन्स वॉट free from material misstatement means what there is no material difference between what is and what should be free matlab ye jo financial statements hai inme koi material fraud inme koi material error nahi hai aur auditor iske bare mein aapko kya karna hai aapko obtain karna hai reasonable assurance kitna debt all assurance 99. 99 के ये जो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट जिनका हमने ऑडिट किया है क्या हम गारंटी दे रहे हैं कि इसमें कोई फ्रॉड एरर नहीं है नहीं हम लोग वारंटी दे रहे हैं रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस वी आर गिविंग कि दीज फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर फ्री फ्रॉम मटेरियल मिस स्टेटमेंट वेदर ड्यू टू फ्रॉड और एरर डू यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी फ्री फ्रॉम मटीरियल मिस स्टेटमेंट फ्री फ्रॉम एम मतलब क्या मटीरियल एम मतलब क्या Mis statement. So free from material mis statement means what? There is no, there is no material difference. There is no material difference between what is and what should be. No, no material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should be. No material difference between what is and what should
material difference between what is and what should be what is misstatement difference between what is and what should be and uh, that is misstatement then you have material and uh, material and then you have the free from material misstatement no material difference between what is and what should be in more simple language i can say that there is no material no mota fraud or error ultimately to wohi hai na misstatement kya bola humne ke it can be due to fraud it can be due to error so now when we are saying free from material misstatement what are we saying there is no material fraud or error no material fraud or error everybody this term will come thousand times material misstatement do you understand material misstatement material difference between what is and what should be material fraud and error and free from material misstatement matlab no material fraud or error okay right so now try to develop a connection okay as an auditor i have to express an opinion do you know what terms are used to express my opinion true and fair exactly to abhi agar mujhe opinion express karna hai true and fair और ये फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स में मटेरियल फ्रॉड है मटेरियल एरर है क्या मैं ऐसे फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स को ट्रू एंड फेयर बोल सकती हूं जिसमें मटेरियल फ्रॉड है जिसमें मटेरियल एरर है मटेरियल मिसस्टेटमेंट है क्या ऐसे फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स में कैन आई एक्सप्रेस एन ओपिनियन सेइंग ट्रू एंड फेयर नो सो फॉर मी टू एक्सप्रेस एन ओपिनियन ट्रू एंड फेयर दीस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट शुड बी फ्री फ्रॉम मटेरियल मिसस्टेटमेंट और इसके बारे में मुझे क्या चाहिए रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस विच इज अई लेवल ऑफ अश्योरेंस बट नॉट अ गारंटी इट इज अ वारंटी बट इट इज नॉट अ गारंटी यू अंडरस्टैंड राइट सो वी स्टिल स्टडी द ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव ओनली किधर गया यहां पे टू ऑप्टेन रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस ऑडिटर का ओ ओ क्या है टू ऑप्टेन रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस दैट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आर free from material misstatement whether due to fraud or error thereby ek bar ca aapko wo bharosa mil gaya wo assurance mil gaya thereby you know what does it say thereby enabling the auditor it allows the auditor enabling the auditor to express an opinion whether financial statements have been prepared by the tell me yes thereby enabling the auditor to express an opinion whether financial statements have been prepared by the management very good good job by the management in accordance with an in accordance with an applicable financial reporting framework afrf the next million dollar term which we now need to study afrf thereby enabling the auditor to Express an opinion. What that whether the financial statements have been prepared by the management in accordance with an applicable financial reporting framework (AFRF). What are we discussing, everyone? As a two hundred, the overall objective of the. independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing what is the overall objective to obtain reasonable assurance what reasonable assurance that the financial statements are free from, free from material misstatement whether due to fraud or whether due to error so what will happen once you get that reasonable assurance it will enable you to do what express an opinion what opinion that financial statements have been prepared by the management in accordance with an applicable financial reporting framework so obviously the next term which i have to discuss with you now is 
ए एफ आर एफ एंड डोंट वरी वील ज्वाइन ऑल द डॉट्स टूगेदर मतलब अभी हम लोग इसको पार्ट पार्ट में पढ़ रहे हैं देन एट दी एंड आई ब्रिंग द ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव टूगेदर डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ओके राइट सो राइट नाउ लेट एस कम टू ए एफ आर एफ है ना एप्ली केबल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क है ना ए एफ आर एफ है ना ए एफ आर एफ ओके राइट लेट एस गो टू आई सी ए आई वेबसाइट बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज है ना बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज इसमें इफ आई गो टू स्टडी मटीरियल अरे ये क्या गया है ना स्टडी मटीरियल इफ आई गो टू फाइनल इंग्लिश मीडियम एंड लुक एट द पेपर वन यू सी सी ए फाइनल ग्रुप वन पेपर वन एफ आर देन ए एफ एम एंड देन एडवांस ऑडिटिंग अश्योरेंस देन डी टी राइट देन दी यस डी टी देन आई डी टी एंड देन यू हैव योर इंटीग्रेटेड बिजनेस सोल्यूशन राइट जस्ट सिक्स पेपर्स ओ माई गॉड है ना जस्ट आई एम टेलिंग यू बिकॉज वी हैड एट पेपर्स एंड नो आई बी एस नथिंग लाइक दैट ओके राइट सो एनी वेज वॉट इज द पॉइंट राइट नाउ पेपर वन इज फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग थोड़ा अगर हम लोग इंटर का सिलेबस देखें तो इंटरमीडिएट इंग्लिश मीडियम यहाँ पे क्या लिखा एडवांस्ड अकाउंटिंग है ना तो यहाँ पे अकाउंटिंग वो ही अकाउंटिंग का नाम क्या हो गया सीए फाइनल में आते आते फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग क्योंकि अकाउंटिंग के एक बार अकाउंटिंग किया फिर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स प्रिपेयर करते हैं तो जो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स प्रिपेयर करते हैं दैट इज फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग है ना दैट इज अल्टीमेटली योर फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग सो हाईटेक नेम ऑफ अकाउंटिंग कुड बी financial reporting okay so applicable financial reporting framework can i also call it as the applicable accounting framework can i also call it as the applicable accounting framework okay let me see how many of you can convert active voice to passive voice english like you know applicable accounting framework is how i read it left to right can anybody tell me how to read it right to left don't tell me framework accounting applicable <laughs> framework applicable for accounting okay फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ अकाउंटिंग थोड़ा इधर उधर भी किया तो चलेगा एकदम तुम रिवर्स ही चल रहे हो थर्ड से वन पे आके टू पे आए तो भी चलेगा फ्रेमवर्क टू बी अप्लाइड वाइल डूइंग अकाउंटिंग लेफ्ट टू राइट कैसे पढ़ते हैं एप्लीकेबल अकाउंटिंग फ्रेमवर्क राइट टू लेफ्ट कैसे पढ़ सकते हैं फ्रेमवर्क टू बी अप्लाइड वाइल डूइंग अकाउंटिंग दिस इज नॉट इंग्लिश क्लास बट आई एम टेलिंग यू इट इज वॉट यू मीन बाय एप्लीकेबल अकाउंटिंग फ्रेमवर्क इट इज दी framework to be applied by whom by whom bilkul alert me se nahi hai aise kaan mein jaise wax bhara hua hai framework to be applied by management while doing the accounting while doing the financial reporting is it right everyone okay what do you mean by framework कि इसके दायरे में रह के आपको अकाउंटिंग करना है इसके बियॉन्ड नहीं जाना है दायरा मतलब क्या लॉज एंड रेगुलेशन स्टैंडर्ड अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑब्वियसली दैट मीन इट इज दी लॉज एंड रेगुलेशन विच आर टू बी अप्लाइड बाई दी मैनेजमेंट टू बी फॉलोड बाय दी मैनेजमेंट वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट राइट दी लॉज एंड रेगुलेशन टू बी फॉलोड बाई दी मैनेजमेंट वाइल प्रिपेरिंग दी इन दी प्रेपरेशन ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एग्जाम्पल यू फॉलो एवरी वन एप्लीकेबल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क मीन्स दी फ्रेमवर्क टू बी अप्लाइड वाइल डूइंग दी फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग अकाउंटिंग हु इज गोइंग टू फॉलो दिस फ्रेमवर्क मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज दे आर प्रिपेरिंग दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट फ्रेमवर्क मतलब क्या 
laws and regulations which are to be applied by the management in the preparation of the financial statements example indian company what would be the laws and regulations which have to be applied by the management in the preparation of financial statements the applicable as as or ind as as applicable to the company say ind as is applicable and also the required schedule 3 disclosure requirement so accounting standard schedule 3 is an example of an afrf ek example hai afrf ka kya accounting standard and schedule 3 are you able to follow everyone okay now this indian company when it has to submit its financial statements to bombay stock exchange and the national stock exchange it will prepare its financial statements as per the indian gap indian accounting standards and the schedule 3 now this indian company say it is also listed on the new york stock exchange so now it has to submit its financial statements to the new york stock exchange india may you are listed you have to submit your financial statements to sebi us may you are listed you have to submit your financial statements to sec securities exchange commission which is the sebi of usa okay so now when you have to submit your financial statements to indian stock exchange authority you can submit your indian gap financial statements bsc nse ko jab financial statement submit karna hai can i submit indian gap financial statements accounting standard schedule 3 yes now us stock exchange authority when i have to submit my financial statements can i give them my indian gap financial statements can i give them my submit to them my indian gap financial statements no now to submit to the us stock exchange authority company now you will have to prepare your financial statements as per us gap so in that case what will be the applicable financial reporting framework us gap okay so it's an indian company this indian company is a subsidiary of a japanese company so japanese company obviously they will have their head office the holding company is in japan the holding company in japan will it require indian subsidiary ka financial statements holding company ka hai जापान में विल इट रिक्वायर इंडियन सब्सिडरी का फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स उनको भी तो वहां कंसोलिडेशन करना पड़ेगा तो नाउ जब आप तो होल्डिंग कंपनी इन जापान को फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट सबमिट कर रहे हो कैन यू सबमिट द इंडियन गैप फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स टू देम नो नाउ यू विल हैव टू प्रिपेयर द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स एज पर द जापानीज गैप एंड देन दोस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स विल हैव टू बी सबमिटेड so that is afrf applicable financial reporting framework an obvious very obvious 99.99% of the time it is accounting standard schedule 3 but yes you are us me listed ho tumhara holding company japan me hai tumko koi bank ne format diya hai tumko koi creditor ne format diya hai to then obviously you have to follow that format and you follow that format then that is your afrf Right? That is your AFRF. That is your applicable financial reporting framework. Are you everybody able to follow this term framework? कि क्या law regulation follow किए हैं? Management ने जब वो अपने financial statements prepare कर रहे हैं. What are the laws and regulations? Okay, now do you think that generally every Indian company will prepare its financial statements as per ind as and schedule three? Every company generally, like unless they are listed on US and holding company either either normal thumb rule. कि अगर Indian shareholder को financial statements देने हैं तो कौन से देना है? AS, ind as and schedule three. So obviously these financial statements are prepared for the Common users for a common range of users, है ना तो ऐसे AFRF को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं कि this is a GPF. What is GPF? General Purpose Framework. Why? Because when these financial statements for for the common users. और वही हमने financial statements prepare किए as per the requirements of a creditor. 
or as per the requirement of the banker now obviously these financial statements are only for the specific users only for the bankers only for the creditors so obviously in this case the afrf is going to be a special purpose framework in this case the afrf is going to be a special purpose framework तो एक ए एफ आर एफ का क्लासिफिकेशन क्या है जीपीएफ और दूसरा क्या है एसपीएफ सिंपल कि ये फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बनाए हैं क्या ये कॉमन यूजर्स के लिए ठीक है देन दिस इज जीपीएफ क्या ये स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ यूजर्स के लिए ठीक है फिर ये एसपीएफ देन इट इज स्पेशल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हु आर दी इंटेंडेड यूजर्स इफ द इंटेंडेड यूजर्स आर होलसेल कॉमन देन इट इज GPF. If it is specific set of users, then it is SPF, Special Purpose Framework. आगे चल के और एक क्लासिफिकेशन आएगा ए एफ आर एफ का अभी मैं सिर्फ एक बता रही हूं देर इज वन क्लासिफिकेशन विच आई एम डिस्कसिंग विथ यू राइट नाउ वन मोर इज येट टू कम डू यू फॉलो दिस एवरी वन जी पी एफ एंड एस पी एफ ओके राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट माई लिस्ट ऑफ दी स्टैंडर्ड यू नो विच वी हैव सीन इन द बिगिनिंग फोर्टी सिक्स इसमें ये एट हंड्रेड का टाइटल देखो जरा है ना एट हंड्रेड इज नॉट देर इन योर सिलेबस बट जस्ट इफ यू लुक एट द टाइटल ऑफ एस एट हंड्रेड है ना एस एट हंड्रेड आई एम ऑन पेज नंबर पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट टू ओके क्या टाइटल है स्पेशल कंसिडरेशन ऑडिट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट प्रिपेर इन अकॉर्डेंस विथ Special Purpose Framework (SPF) that means the financial statements are for the specific set of the users, not for the broad range of the users, not for the common users. Right? That is as a 800 audit of audit year. Financial statements का ही है, but only वो financial statements कैसे बनाए गए हैं? They've been prepared in accordance with the स्पेशल पर्पज फ्रेमवर्क मतलब 800 के पहले जो हम सारी बात कर रहे हैं दैट ऑल इज रिगार्डिंग द जीपीएफ जनरल पर्पज फ्रेमवर्क है ना दैट ऑल डिस्कशन यू नो स्पेशल पर्पज फ्रेमवर्क दे आर डिस्कसिंग इन एट हंड्रेड सो जनरली आर डिस्कशन इज ऑल रिगार्डिंग दी जस्ट द जीपीएफ द जनरल पर्पज फ्रेमवर्क ओवर देर राइट आर डिस्कशन इज रिगार्डिंग दी जीपीएफ राइट इट इज रिगार्डिंग दी जनरल पर्पज फ्रेमवर्क राइट सो एप्लीकेबल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क वॉट आर दी लॉज एंड रेगुलेशन विच आर बीन फॉलोड बाई दी मैनेजमेंट इन दी प्रेपरेशन ऑफ दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी वन ए एफ आर एफ ओके सो लेट मी कम बैक टू दी ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉट इज दी ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव टू ऑप्टेन reasonable assurance what that the financial statements are free from material misstatement whether due to fraud or error kya hoga ek bar ye assurance mil gaya to it will allow you to express an opinion what opinion that financial statements have been prepared by the management in accordance with the afrf and once auditor you are able to express your opinion then what you will do you will report and not to report is yes, the findings of the auditor is yes, to report on the financial statements the findings of the auditor and do i give the audit report as i wish no i give my report in accordance with the essays wonderful in accordance with the standards on auditing in accordance with the sa what is sa standards on auditing right so this is the overall objective of the independent auditor what is the overall objective to obtain a reasonable assurance what is reasonable assurance it is a high level of assurance but it is not a absolute assurance what reasonable assurance that the financial statements are free free no material fraud or error free from material misstatement ek bar ye assurance mil gaya to it enables the auditor to express an opinion that financial statements have been prepared by the management who is preparing मैनेजमेंट ऑडिटर ओनली से इसके हाँ अब मैं बोल सकता हूं कि इट एनेबल्स दी ऑडिटर टू एक्सप्रेस एन ओपिनियन दैट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट हैव बीन प्रिपेयर बाय दी मैनेजमेंट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद दी एएफआरएफ एंड देन ऑडिटर व्हाट यू डू वंस यू आर से आई कैन एक्सप्रेस माय ओपिनियन तो ठीक है फिर रिपोर्ट दे दो 
क्या रिपोर्ट में दोगे वट एवर योर फाइंडिंग्स आर इफ यू नो फाइंडिंग यू गिव अ क्लीन रिपोर्ट एंड हाउ डू इशू योर रिपोर्ट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद दी स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑन ऑडिटिंग everybody are you clear regarding the overall objectives first the title of sa 200 what is the title o o i a c a s a you know overall objectives of the independent auditor and the conduct of an audit in accordance with the standards on auditing what is the overall objective to obtain the reasonable assurance about whether the financial statements as a whole are free from material misstatement whether due to fraud or whether due to error thereby enabling the auditor to express an opinion on whether the financial statements are prepared in all material respects in accordance with an applicable financial reporting framework and then to report on the financial statements and communicate as required by the essays in accordance with the auditor's fine right in accordance with the auditor's findings everybody are you clear about this right so what have we discussed over here okay what is the overall objectives of the independent auditor right so how we can remember the overall objectives rfa and rfs what is rfa it says reasonable assurance it's reasonable assurance that the financial statements are free from material misstatements prepared in accordance with the afrf and then auditor you report your in accordance with the findings in accordance with the standards on auditing right so rfa so report on the financial statements in accordance with the findings as required by the standards on auditing so this is like the miniest version the condensed version of the overall objective to obtain reasonable assurance which is a high level of assurance but not an absolute assurance what reasonable assurance ke ye jo financial statements hai isme koi mota mota fraud error nahi hai ke they are free from immaterial hoga but material jo aapki decision making ko affect karega aisa koi fraud error नहीं है क्या हम इसका 100% परसेंट गारंटी दे रहे हैं नहीं वारंटी दे रहे हैं रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस दैट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर फ्री फ्रॉम मटेरियल मिसस्टेटमेंट वेदर ड्यू टू फ्रॉड और एरर देयर बाय एनेबलिंग द ऑडिटर टू व्यक्त करना एक्सप्रेस एन ओपिनियन कि हाँ हाँ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आर प्रिपेयर बाई दी मैनेजमेंट एज पर ए एफ आर एफ वॉट इज ए एफ आर एफ द लॉज रेगुलेशन विच आर टू बी फॉलोड बाई दी मैनेजमेंट इन दी Preparation of financial statements, and then you report your findings as per the standards. And these three terms, just be double, triple sure that you understood these three terms. ये terms नहीं समझा तो बहुत गड़बड़ हो जाएगा. Reasonable assurance, free from material misstatement. Means simplest language of free from material misstatement. No material fraud or error. है ना? No material fraud or error. Or AFRF. laws and regulations to be followed by the management in the preparation of the financial statements example of an afrf accounting standard schedule 3 indian gap japanese gap australian gap hong kong gap ifrs any you know or format given by bank format given by government format given by creditor kisi ne hame kuch format diya aur hum wo follow kar rahe so that's an afrf kaun follow kar raha hai मैनेजमेंट ऑडिटर सिर्फ चेक कर रहे हैं कि वेदर इट हेज बीन फॉलोड और नॉट फॉलोड आर यू एबल टू फॉलो दिस एवरी वन ओके राइट सो लेट इस लुक एट दी कंटेंट ऑफ द बुक एप्लीकेबल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क मीन्स अ फ्रेमवर्क विच इज बीन एडॉप्टेड इन दी प्रेपरेशन एंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दैट इज एक्सेप्टेबल इन व्यू ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द एंटिटी एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट और इट इज रिक्वायर्ड बाई दी लॉ और रेगुलेशन example indian company it could be the schedule 3 okay right then an overview of the objectives of audit right it says auditor's objective is to obtain a reasonable assurance that financial statements are free from material misstatement whether due to fraud or error reasonable assurance is to be distinguished from are you seeing it everyone 
reasonable assurance is to be distinguished from absolute assurance absolute assurance is a complete assurance or a guarantee that financial statements are free from material misstatement reasonable assurance is not a complete guarantee although it is a high level of assurance but it is not a complete assurance yes very important right so you can put a heart over there ki this you have to learn it ye bahut questions aate hain exam mein and a reasonable assurance is it an absolute assurance no is it a complete assurance no but it is a high level of the assurance an auditor what does it say when you are doing the audit should you have the competence to do the audit should you have the competence yes to like i have to do the audit i have to check whether the management has prepared financial statements as per afrf say the afrf is accounting standards in schedule 3 i don't know the accounting standard schedule 3 can i do the audit you understand see management ko kya aana chahiye मैनेजमेंट को आना चाहिए अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड शेड्यूल थ्री का उनको समझ होना चाहिए मैनेजमेंट को तो ही वो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं बट ऑडिटर यू नीड टू हैव नॉलेज ऑफ बोथ ए एस ऑल्सो एंड एस ए ऑल्सो इज इट दैट ऑडिटर शुड हैव ओनली नॉलेज ऑफ एस ए नो ऑडिटर नीड्स टू हैव नॉलेज ऑफ ए एस ऑल्सो बिकॉज ही हैज टू चेक ना विद द मैनेजमेंट एज प्रिपेयर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एज पर अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड सो इफ यू डोंट नो द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड हाउ यू चेक दैट एंड टू चेक यू नीड द स्टैंडर्ड ऑन ऑडिटिंग सो मैनेजमेंट यू नीड नॉलेज ओनली ऑफ द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड बट ऑडिटर यू नीड नॉलेज ऑफ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑल्सो एंड ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑल्सो डू यू फॉलो दैट एवरी वन एंड सो प्रोफेशनल कॉम्पिटेंस एंड दी स्किल्स इन अकॉर्डेंस विद दी स्टैंडर्ड ऑन ऑडिटिंग ऑडिट प्रोसीजर्स आर अप्लाइड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद दी एस एस ऑडिट एविडेंस इज ऑप्टेन एंड इवेल्युएटेड एंड ऑन दैट बेसिस कंक्लूजन आर ड्रॉन एंड ओपिनियन इज फॉर्म राइट सो ऑडिट और वॉट यू डू यू डू दी ऑडिट फॉर डूइंग ऑडिट यू अप्लाई दी ऑडिट procedure by performing the procedure you obtain the evidence based on the evidence you reach your audit conclusion and you give your audit opinion right so what does it say you have to look at the flow what they saying if you have to do the audit and now like first what does it say you will have to plan your audit if i have to do an audit first i'll have to do the audit planning then based on the planning i will have to perform the audit procedures based on the procedures i will obtain the audit evidence based on the evidence i will reach to the audit conclusion then no, no, they are using the words audit conclusion based on my conclusion i will form my opinion and based on my opinion i will issue the audit report based on my opinion i will issue the audit report the auditor you have to plan the audit based on the planning you will do the checking based on the checking you will get the evidence evidence ke basis pe conclusion conclusion ke basis pe opinion or opinion ke basis pe finish audit report audit report oh that's an o done you follow this reasonable assurance right it's to be distinguished from absolute assurance absolute assurance is a 100% complete assurance it is a guarantee what did i say audit is a warranty it is not a guarantee right that the financial statements are free from material misstatement reasonable assurance is not a complete guarantee although it is that all 99.99 but it is not complete assurance okay then misstatement in financial statements can occur due to fraud or 
error or both auditor has to see the effect of the misstatements on the financial statements as a whole in total you find out one fraud in debtor one in creditor one in inventory one in share capital you have to take all of them together and in total see Okay, how much are the misstatement in the financial statements then obtain reasonable assurance that financial statements are free from material misstatement which will enable to express opinion that financial statements are prepared as per AFRF so this same sentence likha hai jo overall objective mein hai and then the opinion is reported communicate in accordance with the audit finding through an audit report as required by the standards on auditing so that is our RFA RFS clear to everyone RFA RFS what is RFA reasonable assurance free from material misstatement prepared in accordance with AFRF and then to report what the findings of the auditor how in accordance with the standards on audit day okay right now here they are talking about okay, audit what do they say auditor you have to obtain the reasonable assurance which what do they say is a high level of the assurance right it is a high level of the assurance but it is not a complete assurance it is not the complete assurance whereas they say absolute assurance which is the right absolute assurance which is like the complete assurance it is like a guarantee and a complete assurance which is like a guarantee okay right so now and we studied okay, to obtain this reasonable assurance and all that it says auditor you need to obtain the audit evidence and now what did we say that auditor you need to obtain the audit evidence okay so now let us just do a quick understanding of this term evidence and now let us just try to get into the details of this term which is called as the evidence okay right so now first thing what do we say ke mere paas evidence hai evident hai na that means it is you have the evidence for something so one it does not mean proof you know agar proof mil jata agar evidence ka matlab proof hota aur agar hame proof mil jata to fir to hum log absolute assurance de dete the had we got proof then we would have given the absolute assurance but we are not giving the proof we are not getting the proof what we are getting is the evidence so evidence does not mean proof so can anybody think of okay, then what is evidence if it does not mean proof what is evidence you say mere paas evidence hai main bol rahi hu ki ye financial statements free hai material fraud error se evident okay jo dikh raha hai okay substantial information okay supporting information okay aisi information jis pe rely kiya ja sakta hai what is evidence bank statement could be an example of an evidence okay prima facie lag raha hai ke theek hi hai aisa kuch hai na doesn't look ke koi company ka satyam ho gaya hai okay Yes. So, what is evidence? It says the. अगर मुझे synonym लगाना है evidence का, कि what is evidence? It is information. कैसा information that we will see later. But आप कैसे बोल रहे हो कि these financial statements are true and fair? You say ये information है मेरे पास. ये information है. This is the information which is obtained by the auditor by performing the audit procedure. राइट right, ये इंफॉर्मेशन या तो इट मे बी कंटेन्ड इन दी अकाउंटिंग रिकॉर्ड्स लाइक ऑल योर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट है ना इट मे बी कंटेन्ड इन दी अकाउंटिंग रिकॉर्ड्स और इट मे बी दी अदर इंफॉर्मेशन अदर इंफॉर्मेशन एग्जांपल मिनट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग इज मिनट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट नो बट इज इट अदर इंफॉर्मेशन विच सपोर्ट्स योर अकाउंटिंग रिकॉर्ड्स यस इज वॉट यू से द मिनट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग अटेंडेंस रजिस्टर ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय is it information contained in the accounting records no but is it supporting your accounting records yes 
right so information in the accounting records and other information that supports the information in the accounting records all that information so ek to jo information hai accounting records mein and second other information that supports the information contained in the accounting records that is the information that we are talking about so in the most simplest language what do you mean by in evidence information and for evidence we have a super standard sa 500 audit evidence 500 ka naam chotu sa audit evidence hai na not a big name like sa 200 just sa 500 audit evidence hai na sa 500 which we will study in chapter 4 which is regarding the audit evidence hai na which is regarding the audit evidence okay right now when you talk about this information contained in the accounting records or the other information that authenticates the accounting records it says auditor ko jo audit karne se jo evidence milta hai auditor you do audit after doing audit you get the evidence the evidence which is obtained by the auditor after doing the audit is the persuasive evidence and it is not the conclusive evidence it is the persuasive evidence but it is not the conclusive evidence what do you mean by persuasive to persuade someone means to convince someone hai na ki aapko aisa evidence mila hai jisse aap convince ho gaye ho ki rent theek dikh raha hai hai na ki you are like convinced hai na so what is persuasive defined as that evidence which is most likely to be true than not most likely to be true than not ki humne rent agreement check kiya overall to sab theek hi dikh raha hai like as you said prima facie hai na so what does it say most likely to be true than not Whereas conclusive evidence, है ना conclusive evidence क्या है? Only that is true. सिर्फ यही सत्य है. इसके अलावा और कुछ सत्य नहीं हो सकता है. Only that is true. And any other possibility is ruled out. Any other possibility is ruled out. Now in an audit, what type of evidence do I get? Persuasive or conclusive? Obviously, I get the Persuasive evidence के most likely तो लग रहा है कि management ने कोई fraud error नहीं किया है but you never know you cannot say guarantee के हाँ हाँ I am giving guarantee this management has not done any fraud error no and only that is true and any other possibility is ruled out that is not possible that is why why you are giving reasonable assurance because you are getting the persuasive evidence had you got the conclusive evidence you would have given the absolute assurance had you got the conclusive evidence you would have given the absolute assurance but because you are getting only the persuasive evidence you are only able to give the reasonable assurance ke most likely to be true than not dekhne par to theek hi lag raha hai that type but guarantee nahi de sakte That literal, if Hindi में अगर समझना जाए तो देखने पर तो ठीक ही लग रहा है बिना देखे नहीं बोल रहे देख के ही बोल रहे कि ठीक ही लग रहा है बट कैन गारंटी दे सकते हैं क्या नो सो मोस्ट लाइकली टू बी ट्रू दैट नॉट दैट इज परस राइट तो पता है जब हम लोग ऑडिट करते हैं तो हमें ऑडिट में क्या मिलता है वेन वी डू एन ऑडिट वी ऑप्टेन दी परसिव एविडेंस विच इज मोस्ट लाइकली टू बी ट्रू दैन not when you do an investigation hai na then that time we get the conclusive evidence kyunki wahan aise bolna padta hai na confidence ke fraud hai then conclusive evidence aur jab hum log forensic audit karte hai ya forensic investigation karte hai forensic audit accounting investigation karte hai to in forensic and ca final you have a chapter on forensic accounting then you need the legal evidence because now this evidence will be used in the courts of law hai na jo legal evidence hai wo confession box mein ja ke wahan khade ho ke aap wo evidence use karne wale ho so that is forensic forensic means what which can be used before the forum what is forum which can be used in the court of law so in an audit look at the match the following in an audit you get the 
persuasive evidence in an investigation you have to reach to the conclusive evidence whereas in a forensic accounting audit investigation you have to obtain the legal evidence which can be used in the court proceedings right which can be used in the court proceedings you follow everyone what i say right? so audit ka ek limitation hai kya limitation hai audit ka <coughs> that the evidence we get in the audit is not conclusive but it is persuasive this is what the problem kya hai why you are giving reasonable assurance why can't you give absolute assurance auditor says the problem is with the evidence that the evidence which i obtain is persuasive it is not conclusive that is why i have to give the reasonable assurance i cannot give the absolute assurance are you able to follow this everyone okay right so what are the two evidences i discussed with you persuasive evidence and the conclusive evidence okay up uh, let me discuss one more term because it is related to it okay now say company ka bank ka balance hai hai na say 8 crore example hai na company balance of the with the bank which they have is the 8 crore so one what i did i checked it from the ledger right so did i obtain one evidence yes i obtain evidence number 1 what is that the ledger okay then i also asked for a confirmation from the bank say a state bank of india bank hai jio limited ka to as an auditor maine bank se directly pucha ke main ye jio limited ka audit kar rahi hu inka bank balance kitna hai to bank ne bhi auditor ko confirm kiya 8 crore to kya mere paas already ek evidence tha yes now have i obtained one more evidence have i obtained one more evidence है ना तो ऑलरेडी आई हैड वन एविडेंस एंड नाउ आई हैव ऑप्टेन दी फर्दर एविडेंस आई हैव ऑप्टेन दी एडिशनल एविडेंस दैट मींस आई हैव नाउ बीन एबल टू क्रॉस चेक है ना ऑलरेडी उन्होंने मुझे एट करोड़ बताया फिर मैंने बैंक को भी पूछा बैंक ने भी एट करोड़ बताया तो फिर इसका मतलब अब जो एविडेंस मिला है इस एविडेंस को क्या बोलते हैं करोबरेटिव ऑडिट एविडेंस करोबरेटिव टू करोबरेट मींस टू गेट एडिशनल एविडेंस फर्दर एविडेंस क्रॉस चेक मतलब ऑलरेडी मेरे पास एक एविडेंस है अब मैं और एक एविडेंस से वो पहले वाला एविडेंस जब क्रॉस चेक करती हूं उसे बोलते हैं टू करोबरेट to corroborate this is example let me give you one more ke mai ko company ka purchase ka policy samajhna hai hai na mujhe i have na purchases karti hai company to i have to understand the purchase policy of the company to maine kya kiya company ka internal control manual padha aur manual mein maine padha ke inka purchase ka policy kya hai i did the inspection maine pad ke nikala inka purchase ka policy kya hai is this evidence number 1 मुझे कंपनी का आई हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड पे अटेंशन एवरी वन दी परचेज पॉलिसी ऑफ द कंपनी व्हाट आई डिड आई टोल्ड मैनेजमेंट गिव मी योर मैनुअल आई विल रीड इट एंड देन आई रीड द एंटायर मैनुअल एंड डिड आई कम टू नो दी परचेज पॉलिसी ऑफ द कंपनी यस सो इज दैट एविडेंस नंबर वन यस देन व्हाट आई डिड आई वेंट फॉर अ मीटिंग टू दी परचेज मैनेजर ऑफ द कंपनी और फिर अभी मुझे ऑलरेडी पढ़ के निकाला हुआ है फिर मैंने परचेज मैनेजर की इंक्वायरी की कि बताइए मैनेजर साहब क्या पॉलिसी है आपकी परचेसेस की अब मैं ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुकी हूँ अब वो जो मैनेजर स्टोरी बोलते हैं और जो मैंने मैनुअल में पढ़ा है ये तो मुझे चेक करना है कि सेम है क्या सो वेदर इट इज सेम करोबरेटिव फर्दर एविडेंस एडिशनल एविडेंस तो ये मेरा क्या है एविडेंस नंबर टू ऑलरेडी एक एविडेंस था क्या येस नाउ आई एम ऑप्टेनिंग एडिशनल एविडेंस फर्दर एविडेंस ओके अब जब मैनुअल में जो लिखा है वो सेम चीज अगर परचेस मैनेजर बताते हैं दैट मींस द एविडेंस इज कॉपरेटिव तो एज एन ऑडिटर मेरा अश्योरेंस बढ़ेगा या कम होगा विल इट गिव मी अ हायर डिग्री ऑफ अश्योरेंस और इट विल लोअर माय डिग्री ऑफ अश्योरेंस ऑब्वियसली इट विल गिव मी अ हायर डिग्री ऑफ अश्योरेंस ऑन द अदर एंड क्या हुआ जो परचेस पॉलिसी में लिखा है और जो परचेस मैनेजर बता रहे हैं पूरा स्टोरी अलग है जो पॉलिसी में लिखा है वो तो कुछ और ही लिखा था ये परचेज मैनेजर तो कुछ और ही बात कर रहे हैं सो नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ करोबरेटिव इट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी तो व्हेन इट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी विल इट गिव मी हायर अश्योरेंस और विल इट लोअर माय अश्योरेंस ऑब्वियसली इट विल लोअर माय अश्योरेंस लेजर में कितना बैलेंस दिख रहा था 
एट करोर बैंक ने भी कितना कंफर्म किया एट करोर आई गेट अ हायर अश्योरेंस करोबरेटिव बट ब्लेजर में कितना दिख रहा है एट करोर बैंक ने कंफर्म किया फोर करोर सो ऑब्वियसली इट इज गोइंग टू लोअर माई अश्योरेंस वेरी ऑब्वियस नो यस No, it is not conclusive. If you get a higher, मतलब instead of ninety seven, it is ninety eight now. या ninety nine के आगे एक point बढ़ा दो. But it can't be conclusive. Like higher में higher है, but it is not hundred still. No, so in in audit also you do inquiry, in investigation also you do inquiry, but your purpose is different. मैं audit में inquiry क्यों कर रही हूँ to express an opinion? मैं investigation में inquiry क्यों कर रही हूँ to detect a fraud? तो purpose अलग है. तो tool वो ही है कि inquiry तो दोनों case में कर रहे हैं. Forensic में भी मैं inquiry करूँगी, पर वहाँ पे मुझे court में prove करना है. तो मेरा purpose अलग है. Like that. You follow everyone what I discuss per zoe. ये पूरा terminology है audit का. I don't know how many new terms. एक list में ना आज कितने नए terms पढ़े जो मुझे तो सारे पता है. तो मैं नहीं बता सकती हूँ. But आप लोगों ने आज first time सुना है. तो आप मुझे बताओ कितने नए terms सुने आज आपने? हाँ? Miss statement. अच्छा. P C W G. A F R F. रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस ए रुको रे मैं लिख रही हूं रीजनेबल अश्योरेंस कॉरोबरेटिव हम्म कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट्री आ इक्यूसीएस हो गया इतने ही पढ़ा इंडिपेंडेंट एग्जामिनेशन SQC, SA, SRE, ठीक है सारा ही लिख देती हो SAE, SRS, हाँ द लैटिन वर्ड ऑडेर विच मीन्स टू योर ट्रू एंड फेयर वेरी गुड फेयर इनफ और कंक्लूसिव गैप हाँ जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल एंड में तो एक डिक्शनरी बन जाएगी अभी चार घंटे में इतना हो गया है तो यू नो एंड में तो एक डिक्शनरी बन सकती है अपनी ऑडिट के बट दिस इज द मेन इंटेंशन एंड दर्पज ऑफ द्लास राइट दिस इज वॉट इज द मेन स्टेक होल्डर्स मे बी सुना होगा बट यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड हाँ जी पी एफ एस पी एफ जनरल पर्पज तो एक डिक्शनरी बना लो अभी ऑडिट की है ना एस पी एफ है ना अभी एविडेंस पढ़ा के एविडेंस मींस इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑप्टेन्ड बाय दी ऑडिटर ओके राइट एवरीबडी आर यू लिसनिंग टू मी ओके राइट सो टुडे मॉर्निंग वी बॉट टोमेटोस या नाउ लेट अस बाय सम कैरेट्स ओके राइट सो नाउ मत बोलो यार एग्जाम के बाद बोलती बंद हो जाएगी रिजल्ट के बाद तो अभी नहीं बोलना है ना रिजल्ट बोलना चाहिए अभी नहीं बोलने का कुछ ठीक है अभी टाइम नहीं है तुम्हारा बोलने का तुम्हारा नंबर आएगा पर अभी नहीं आया हुआ है ओके राइट तो नाउ एग्जांपल है ना सब्जी मंडी जाना है अभी इधर का सब्जी मंडी मुझे पता नहीं है बट ठीक है है ना टू के जी कैरेट है ना दैट इज व्हाट आई वांट टू बाय ओके तो नाउ टू के जी कैरेट्स एंड ऑब्वियसली आई वॉन्ट गुड क्वालिटी कैरेट्स है ना तो अभी है ना लेट्स टेक अ You know, we are what you say, environment friendly. So we are taking a cloth bag from home and going to the market. And now, as a pure sabzi wale, as a better rehta hai na, dono taraf jaa market rehta hai se. And or ek dam super, ek dam as a fresh sab saara gajar, bindi, tomatoer, hai na, saari as a dhania, adrak, nimbu, as a you know practical. You know, you would have seen as a saara wo log baatte hai. Fir abhi thoda experience aata hai agar shopping ka, to pata chalta hai ki bhai gaye barabar left mein acha laga to lena nahi chahiye. आगे जाके पता चलता है अरे मैंने पहले क्यों लिया आगे और अच्छा था है ना तो पहले क्या करना चाहिए अब ऑडिट करोगे ना तो फिर बोलोगे क्लास के एंड में बोलोगे मैम पहले एक वॉक थ्रू करना चाहिए है ना तो एक पहले पूरा वॉक थ्रू करो है ना पूरा मार्केट का देखो लेफ्ट साइड राइट साइड पूछो क्या रेट है फोर्टी रुपीज फिफ्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी ऐसा देख के यू टेक कर रहा हूँ फिर एक जनरली अपने रेग्युलर वेजिटेबल वेंडर होते हैं 
है ना जिनके पास हम लोग लेते हैं है ना तो फिर फाइनली आपने डिसाइड किया कि ये यहाँ जो भैया बैठे हैं ठीक ही है इनके पास तो इनके पास से लेते हैं है ना तो आप उनको बोलते हैं कि ना भैया दो किलो गाजर चाहिए तो अब जैसे उनको बोला तो उनके पास वो तराजू रहता है है ना ऑन दैट तराजू ऑन द वन साइड दे कीप द टू के जी वेट और फिर वो डालना शुरू करते हैं गाजर अगर मैं गई तो मैं आप रुको आप मुझे बास्केट दे दो है ना सो अब मैं वो छबड़ी उस और मैं बैठ जाऊंगी फिर उसके बाद मैं एक 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 गाजर सेलेक्ट करूंगी फिर मैंने गाजर सेलेक्ट किया फिर वो उसमें डालना शुरू करेंगे वो वेइंग इसमें फिर अब मैं सिलेक्ट कर ही रही हूँ वो डाल ही रहे पर उनको इतनी गड़बड़ रहती है कि वो खुद दो तीन निकाल के डालते हैं फिर मैं वो वो आपने डाला वो निकालो वो निकाल के रखो फिर उसके बाद वो बोलते हो गया हो गया मैंने बोला नहीं अभी नहीं हुआ अभी और दो गाजर बैठेगा है ना फिर और दो गाजर डालेंगे फिर उसके बाद वो बोलेंगे ठीक है मैडम हो गया अब हाँ तो लेके जाइए ओके फिर आई गिव द बैग एंड देन ही पुट्स इट इन द बैग एंड देन से एट्टी रुपीज आई गिव हंड्रेड रुपी या क्यू आर कोड स्कैन या जो भी एंड देन आई टेक बैक ट्वेंटी रुपीज और समथिंग और हो गया ओके तो वो फिर अब बोलते हैं तो मुझे क्या चाहिए टू के गुड क्वालिटी कैरेट्स तो अब वो बोलते हैं कि आप ऐसा कीजिए है ना प्राइस सेम एट्टी रुपीज है ना प्राइस सेम एट्टी रुपीज बट अभी आप ऐसे करो कि है ना दो किलो गाजर के जगह आप तीन किलो कैरेट ले लो बट ये ना क्वालिटी थोड़ा ये ना ये ना माल इतना अच्छा नहीं है ना लाइक दिस इज थोड़ा इंफीरियर क्वालिटी ऐसे थोड़ा बाकी कुछ ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम नहीं है सिर्फ थोड़ा सा कम है तो इसीलिए थोड़ा रेट कम लगाया है तो वॉट आई विल से नहीं वॉट क्वान्टिटी आई वॉन्ट 2 kg. What quality I want? Good. Now can quantity compensate for quality? No. I'll say no. You giving me more quantity cannot compensate for the quality which I want. फिर वो बोलते ठीक है ये छोड़ दो. फिर आप क्या करो ना दो किलो के जगह one and a half kg ले लो. और ये one and a half kg ना imported है. Indian market में imported का meaning क्या होता है? उसके ऊपर sticker लगाया हुआ रहता है. एक छोटा बच्चा रह, बैठा रहता है पीछे उसके पास सारे वॉशिंगटन एप्पल न्यूजीलैंड एप्पल गाला एप्पल ग्रीन एप्पल वो ऑल एप्पल है ना उनके पास स्टिकर रहते हैं नन 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 स्टिकर लगाते हैं ओके राइट तो ना वो बोलते हैं ठीक है प्राइस सेम एट्टी रुपीज पर आप क्या करो दो किलो की जगह आपको मिलेगा डेढ़ किलो पर क्वालिटी एकदम झकास लाइक एकदम इंपोर्टेड क्वालिटी वॉट एवल आई से नहीं क्वालिटी के नॉट कॉम्पेंसेट फॉर क्वांटिटी फिर वो बोलते हैं ठीक है ये भी छोड़ दो आप ऐसे करो आप प्राइस सेम एट्टी रुपीज आप वन के जी कैरेट ले लो आपको दो किलो चाहिए ना तो आप ऐसे करो वन के जी कैरेट ले लो एक के जी मटर ले लो ग्रीन पीस तो मैं बोलू मेरे मम्मी को गाजर का हलवा बनाना है अब मटर से मैं करू ही क्या तो मटर तो तुम्हारा रेलिवेंट ही नहीं है हाउ कैन ग्रीन पीस भी रेलिवेंट When I wanted the carrot over there, they say, Madam, please, Madam, आप ये दो के जी गुड क्वालिटी कैरेट लीजिए प्लीज एट्टी रुपीज नो प्रॉब्लम है ना ऑफर वन रिजेक्ट ऑफर टू रिजेक्ट ऑफर थ्री ऑल्सो रिजेक्ट वाई बिकॉज वॉट आई वॉन्ट दैट क्वान्टिटी एंड क्वालिटी बोथ शुड बी ओके है ना क्वान्टिटी एंड क्वालिटी इट इज नॉट क्वान्टिटी और क्वालिटी वॉट डिड आई से क्वान्टिटी कैन नॉट कॉम्पेंसेट फॉर quality quality cannot compensate for quantity and some green peas cannot compensate for the carrot which i want similarly now when say example i want to check the addition to property plant equipment ppe see during the year company ne ek laptop kharida example है ना अब जब मुझे ये एडिशन टू ppe dekhna hai to iska first document mujhe kya dekhna hoga एसेट रिक्विजिशन नोट है ना कि क्या हैव दे प्रिपेयर कि ऐसे कोई उठ के कंपनी में लैपटॉप नहीं खरीद कर सकता देर हैज टू बी एन एसेट रिक्विजिशन नोट विच हैज टू बी ऑथराइज बाई परचेस मैनेजर एक बार एसेट रिक्विजिशन नोट अप्रूव हो गया फिर वो कोटेशन मंगाते हैं फिर कोटेशन के बेसिस पे पीओ रेज होता है फिर पीओ के बेसिस पे गुड्स कंपनी में आते हैं फिर गुड्स कंपनी में आने के बाद उनका क्वालिटी इंस्पेक्शन होता है द क्वालिटी इंस्पेक्शन इज डन देन आफ्टर द क्वालिटी इंस्पेक्शन इट से इज दर्चेस इन वॉइस इज अप्रूव आफ्टर द परचेस इन वॉइस इज अप्रूव देन द अकाउंटिंग एंट्री इज फास्ट देन द payment is made to the supplier on the due date the depreciation is charged as per the afrf and then finally the disclosure has to be done as per the as and the schedule 3
एक एग्जाम्पल दे रही हूं मैं आपको कि मुझे कोई कंपनी ने जो भी उन्होंने एसेट्स खरीदे हैं से कंपनी ने इस साल हजार एसेट्स खरीदे होंगे क्या कहना है एम आई गोइंग टू चेक ऑल दी थाउजेंड एडिशन नो आई डू सैम्पल चेकिंग है ना अभी जो uh, मैंने रिसेंटली इंस्टीट्यूट का सेमिनार अटेंड किया देर इज एन ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड एस ए फाइव थर्टी है ना जो है ऑडिट सैम्पलिंग के बारे में वो बोलते बहुत जल्द सैम्पलिंग रिडंडेंट हो जाएगा बहुत जल्द ऑडिट सैंपलिंग का कंसेप्ट चला जाएगा क्यों क्योंकि अभी ऑडिट सॉफ्टवेयर के कारण हम लोग हंड्रेड परसेंट पॉपुलेशन का टेस्टिंग फटाफट कर सकते हैं so, के थाउजेंड एडिशन टू पीपीई है क्या एम आई गोइंग टू चेक ऑल थाउजेंड नो आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट द सैंपल सो से आई सिलेक्टेड सैंपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी एडिशन टू पीपीई और ये ट्वेंटी एडिशन का मुझे क्या देखना है पॉइंट वन टू टेन नहीं ये जो मैंने लिस्ट बनाई है एसेट रेक्विजिशन नोट कोटेशन परचेस ऑर्डर एसेट इनवर्ड नोट ये सारे करके ये ट्वेंटी एडिशन के मुझे ये टेन पॉइंट देखने टेन पॉइंट मतलब ट्वेंटी क्या है मेरा क्वांटिटी और टेन क्या है मेरा क्वालिटी टेन मतलब अब मैं वो टेन कहा लिखते बैठू ना इसीलिए मैंने टेन लिखा है बट एक्चुअली वो 20 सैंपल का हर एक सैंपल का मुझे ये 10 चीजें देखनी है रेक्विजिशन से लेके डिस्क्लोजर तक यू अंडरस्टैंड जैसे कैरेट में मुझे क्वांटिटी एंड क्वालिटी वैसे पीपी में मुझे अभी क्वांटिटी एंड क्वालिटी बोथ आई वांट टू चेक राइट सो आई ब्रिंग यू टू द नेक्स्ट कंसेप्ट रिगार्डिंग दी ऑडिट एविडेंस बट राइट नाउ टाइम फॉर अस टू टेक अ ब्रेक राइट वी मीट अगेन एट वन ओ लास्ट सेशन फॉर वन टू टू एंड देन वी विल एंड फॉर दर्ट Okay